might be drunk, folks. Happy January. Are we in January? We're in January. All right. We're rocking. Man, this, is, this was a little nasty New York day. Oh, man. The snow last night was beautiful. I woke up, and I went outside, and it's all sludge. It's like a hangover. Yes. It's the snow hangover, the That's sludge. That's perfect. Yeah. I'm watching my cat on the windowsill. The snow is falling with a oh, street light. It's beautiful. And then beautiful. you go out today, and it's just, it's just fucking jizz and mes- miscarriage and placenta. <laughs> I stepped into placenta. It was gross. I mean, it's disgusting. <laughs> That's you why you're going to get the boots. Oh, I, think I, do, I thought it was a fart was coming. <laughs> later, <laughs> later. Yeah, yeah, but it, that sludge is no joke. You got to either stick or don't stick. You can't be in the middle. I think the salt's fucking it up. I kind of love it. I mean, when's, I haven't broke out snowshoes in like, I think I wore them all last year. Oh, they're fun. Yeah, well, the warming, the global warming. We had a fun moment last night. Me and the Q's did uh, the comedy dojo, and I'm on stage, and I hear beep, beep, beep. Beep, like from outside. Smoke alarm? No. Tow truck. Ooh. And I go, we parked in a handicap. And I, it's, there's I just, only one spot left in the whole club. Yeah. And he's, you know, we arrived late and the only spot left was handicap. So we took it. Oh, and yeah. didn't think twice until. I see this guy beeline out the fucking door to get the, to stop the tow truck guy. Turns out it was a salt truck. Uh, but I'm a southern queef. I don't know anything about salt. That's like salts. my old bit. Remember that joke? Oh, what was Day, it? Having sex, it's like a. Uh, Find a parking spot for a guy, for oh, a woman. Yeah. Find a car. It's oh, like that's yeah. a joker. Find a car. Yeah, the joker. joker. Yeah, yeah. There's a spot. There's another spot. Oh, I have to pay. Never mind. Yeah, that's a great joke. Handicapped. Hope no one sees this. <laughs> Old school. That's a great joke. I gotta tell you, I went to community college for a stint. Not bragging. And uh, there was a Down syndrome gal who was kind of hot. Yeah. She had huge cans, huge, Ooh. you know, retarded jugs. And <laughs> I got to tell you, the guys were all over. Really? I couldn't do did it. They, did they hook up with her? I don't know, but they were pretty touchy-feely in the back back row. <laughs> what the hell? She was cute. I mean, she had a killer body. She, you know, she would eat anything. If you put anything in front of her, she'd put it in her mouth. So, I mean, it was a shoe in <laughs> You talk about her like I talk about Winnie. <laughs> Who's got peanut butter? Yeah, yeah. That's uh. This is the Down syndrome, Victoria. No, that Secret was a model. big story for yes. a while. Is it okay? Is the question. That's the question. I think it's like a spectrum, probably. Right. I mean, ah, true. If it's, is it full downs or is it partially downs? Is yeah, it I think downs you have comforter? to be the judge. I don't know. I mean, look, I could be wrong on this. I'm just, you know. Well, she would say, "I want to be treated like an equal." Maybe. Sure. Did she say that? That's, I have it in writing. Now, <laughs> you wrote it. She yeah. signed it. <laughs> it was in a crayon. But yeah. Mark, do you have a Victoria's Secret Downs joke? I do. I just said I'd, I'd go downs on her. <laughs> you know, easy, quick, in and out. I had something else like that, too. It was like, uh, fuck, I don't remember. It was, it was a Barbie Down syndrome one day. I had something, too. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, what I like about Wynn is uh, she's up. She's like alert. She could just sit down and enjoy the day, but she's like up on her feet in case anything goes down. She's usually asleep. I think, okay. she, I think she'll pass out in a minute. It's a lot of stimulus in here. She's like one of us. <laughs> she's, <laughs> up, she's up for now, but right, right. she'll pass out. She sees the mics. She's got to be on. Yeah. Also, Salakus looks like a bulldog, so you never know if uh, <laughs> she's threatened. <laughs> uh, I didn't bring it up yet, but uh, what happened with your NFL memes thing? Oh, yeah, it's pretty outrageous. Pretty egregious. Well, what, they all do that. All those memes people did that. I was just, you know, I had a, I had a couple of me. I was like, let me tweet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, so people tagged me. So I was like, oh, I knew they did it. But it, look, the the Jerry Jones thing, a bunch of people could have come up with. It's fine. But no. but they know. But I, I was the first to post it, I think. That's why it went so hard. Got like, like that, 15K retweet or maybe more. I don't know. But, oh, look at that. That's the chicken parm You joke. always look me up wrong because I feel like it's always. It's not uh, X. Are you Uh-oh. sure? And this is uh, like fake extra. Account? No, it's you. No, that's me, but I feel like this happened last time. Yeah, I stink. That yeah. one's got 10K. What? Oh, that's a Will Smith joke. Wait. I this don't... is like all 2022. I don't know how to do this. Wait, You're 2022? Up, that's what I said. He doesn't know what, what the uh, hell is it? I'm confused. Sam Real X. There it is. Boom. Try Twitter. Well, oh, maybe, maybe you got a, 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 a fraudulent account. No, that's me, I think. That was my okay. face. Sam Link. All right. Well, this is a good pod. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. All Jeez. right. Well, either way, but what's cool about the stealing now is if you call it out, then you get you get some you get a little blow up from just calling it out. Well, yeah, I I uh 
I posted it like months ago. Everyone tagged me in it because I, I wrote, uh, yeah, dude, what the fuck is, I don't get why this is. Uh, oh, boy. It. You might have to edit this out. Right, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, well, I, I tweeted something months ago. It was that fucking agent. You'll, you can tag it in probably. The guy, uh, maybe you can't. I don't know. The chicken parm or three. No, v- yeah, three veal parms veal we parm. walk, which is pretty specific. Veal yeah. parms. And then he did the same thing but added capiche. Ah, and then and so, I got, so, I, so I got tagged in it, and then I I posted another one. Uh, yeah, it's a whatever, but it got a lot of posts because it was quick. Yeah, and then the Jerry Jones one was uh, what was it? Uh, civil rights. Oh yeah, yeah. He hasn't seen been this upset since uh, since the Civil Rights Act, and then uh, that went pretty hard. And then he posted the exact like the same wording too. So I'm like, dude, uh, you know. You know, I guess like Brown versus Board. If you did something slightly different, I'll give it to you. But like it was the same wording again. So uh, I just posted like both of them side by side. And he was like, all you had to do was say, he DM'd me, all you had to do was say something. And I would have, ta- I tagged you, I tagged you, but it's like that way they tag you where no one can see it. Yes, mm, exactly. You know, so I was like, fuck, I'm not responding to this dweeb. He knows but like, I have doing. no respect for these people. They're just fucking, you know. They just Joe po- they're, they're like Taters. curators. They're yes. not even. They're yes. not like right. But what bugs me is that they want credit for being witty. Yes, they don't. If they just posted other like Tank Sinatra is a good one because he'll post his own shit, his creative stuff, mm. or and then if he posts your shit, he'll give you credit. Yes. So like that's fine, right? But I, it just bugs me the fact that they're like. They want it all. They want it you all. You don't want to do any of the work, but you want all the, like, wow, you're so clever. Yeah, You're yeah. not. You're, you poach. Yes, they poach, and they still want the pat on the back. It's yeah. bullshit. So, so I just, I, look, I don't really care, but I just, I'll trash them. Every once in a while, I'll be like, you're a fucking loser. And then it come at you. All you had to do was talk to me or whatever. It's like, all you had to do was not steal my shit. And also, they've heard it. They know that, they know what they're doing is is uh, shady. You just heard on the Cat Williams podcast, you don't steal. Yeah. Stop stealing jokes. Well, you know what makes me sleep better at night is like the fat Jew. Where's he now? You know, I, he was the biggest thing. He was at Uncut Gems. He was all over the place. I'll he tell was... you where he is. He got a fucking rosé made, and we can't get distribution for uh, Bodega Cat. What the fuck is going wrong, wrong in the world, Mark? What I the hell? I didn't know he had a rosé. Now he has I hate white him girl rosé. Oh, that's geez. him. Don't buy that shit. That guy stinks. He stinks, but I feel like I don't. Uh, I don't hear about him anymore, and I think that's 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 how the, it all comes out in the wash, baby. Yeah, the fat Jew. <laughs> ah, you, did? Yeah, you turn coat piece of garbage. <laughs> you fucking you I, can't you can't find a tweet. You fucking <laughs> photographing the fat Jew. You stink, Salacuse. Benedict. She look, she's Arnold. out. She's down now. Hey. hey, there we go. All right. Glad you got comfortable. Well, see, this right. is, how is this charming? Uh, I is shot this? this. Is this Stav I know, but like, well, yeah, what's the, yeah, Stav, it's charming. Look at this <laughs> fucking clown. And it's like too much, the, the covering the balls. And we're giving him too much shine here. Right, Enough's yeah, enough. Yeah. Buffalo sauce, Bill. <laughs> hey. Guy stinks. All right, that guy's going to steal that and go, Buffalo sauce, Billy. Yeah. What? What the hell? Yeah, yeah. So I was just also I was in like kind of a mood because like look, we did six shows at the Punchline Philly. I, I had a great time because look, I love Philly crowds, but like it was it was the the ceilings are so high in the club yeah, that it was kind of tough to like get momentum. So I'd get off stage. You ever get off stage and you're just like mad at yourself? Sure. In a way where like you just start stuffing your face with the green room candy. Yeah. Not like like alcohol won't even fill the hole. You need to like be a child again. Yeah. Well, you better <laughs> take it th- easy. You're gonna be the fat Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Keep eating those Snickers. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm with you. Yeah. I've, I've been there. The, the stress eating, and then there's the stress drinking. That's also bad. You know, speaking of stress drinking, I sent you what they have in the green room. Post this shit. This oh, is pretty cool. They have a Keurig. It's a Keurig, but for liquor. So they have like yes. gin, rum, everything. Look at that. I'm making a Bodega Cat sidecar. You put in a pod for the mixer, and then Whoa. you. Isn't that crazy? How to taste? It was pretty fucking good. Oh my god! If you get that and a sex robot, you're getting. Fucked and a cocktail made for you. I say we combine the two. Yeah, let's get two in one. Yeah. My, my only critique on this is like it's cool for like a party probably. Yeah. 
but then you like you want one that can make it's kind of slow kind of slow yeah kind of like that girl you wanted to fuck oh. back in the day. <laughs> also you do i mean let's be honest you miss this what's that oh yeah how was that bj oh pretty good you know you, you get a little mixology the guy with the mustache the suspenders I, I like i like when you're making the drinks i agree and i like the, i like making a drink and that's kind of and i i have in my rider they have to have vermouth bodega cat and bitters i make a fucking i like making a drink go. backstage but also like even with my coffee i like to like the coming about the curig just it doesn't do it's it for soulless me. it's cool it's i enjoyed it but it is and also it's shitty it's bad for the environment true the pods will and, get you yeah it's but, sex with a prostitute it's like you're getting there but it's, it's a sex robot a sex prostitute robot. will still sex get robot. you there that's true she's yeah. got a history she <laughs> smells a certain way yeah. there's an accent usually eastern block but uh yeah the, this is the prostitute still got a personality that's true she's yeah. been through some shit and I, as comedians i relate to them yeah i just think like the curry just tastes like shit anyone i've had people be like it's good coffee i'm like you fucking i mean like i'll drink it like yeah. we have it here, I'll drink it here. But like, I want to, I want to make my own coffee. I like when I got that grinding brew uh, thing at home. Oh Grinds yeah, grinds the beans. You use that? No, I gotta get that. Gotta get that. Ari's got that fucking beaker thing. That, you know, where you swirl it's it. It's called and, a nose. Is it a nose? <laughs> Woo! You hot today, baby. <laughs> Yeah, Ari's got that honker or whatever that thing is. Uh, you know, the beaker that swirls around, and then he Ooh. pours it out. It's really oh, good. Oh, like, is that like, not a French press, is it? No, no. Give this a goog. It's like high-end coffee oh, pretentious nice. shit, but man, that. is the coffee strong as hell. I miss Ari. I haven't seen him for fucking ever. Yeah. Do you only do you see him outside of the Rogan stuff or no? Well, he's in the tunnels, so I don't know what he's up to. <laughs> uh, no, I, he's around. He's doing Adrian Iapolucci specials. So he texted me the other day. And we had a phone call. Oh, but he's oh, around. Yeah. He's yeah, doing he the road. He texted me the other day, but I just don't. I don't see him that much. Is what I'm saying. That's the one. That 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 one with that weird. Um, oh my god. Yeah, it's it's like mad scientist shit. That plus his beard. It's it's Rick and Morty over there. <laughs> How many stars does it have? That's got a all five. Like five. Oh, one oh, review. Oh, one review. That's yeah. Sorry. He yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a Kobe joke. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I love the. What, what was the influence behind the Pat, old school Patrick Ewing uh, wallpaper? You changed it up. It used to be Dog Day, right? I think uh, Chad Daniels was talking about. Yeah, Patty. I, I can't remember why, but uh, I just love the thing at the bottom. It says starting that's... October 26th, the New York skyline will never be the same. I mean, that's gold. It's great. Off by a month or so. Well yeah. played. Well played. Yeah. But it is a beautiful old Seems shot. pro New York, but you're mocking the history of New York. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, you know. the victims. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, I love that picture. That's old school, man. Mm -hmm. That's he, he was the fucking king. He was my, I almost wore a Ewing shirt today. Really? I had, I, yeah, I was looking, I was like this and this, but I went long sleeve just because of the weather, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, Ewing was my guy. He was the man. I mean, it feels like uh, NFL is heating up. More I than mean, the NBA, playoffs, babe. Well, it's That's the time playoffs. of year. Yeah, right. I mean, something about playoffs. I mean, you're a fucking Buffalo guy, Matt. In the, in <laughs> the playoffs, <laughs> I don't know, that was probably winning in this in the snow, man. Like, oh yeah, I think of that iconic Brady Patriots Raiders game where he's like freaking out. They beat the. I mean, it's just it's in the snow. It's so kind. Of, yeah, pull up pictures of that one. It's just fucking badass. Rain, but snow. Raiders, yeah. I've been to a few football games. One was the Bills. I'll never go back. There's no fucking roof on that stadium. It's the coldest city in America. I I think I got uh, hypothermia. Holy hell! Get on in is. here. Get on in here. Hello. Our guest. Wow. We started. So pop on over, baby. I mean, look at that shit, though. That's wild. Brad, you're you're a football fan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the Bills. We got to pull Brad up. Get Brad at the Broncos game. This is killer. Yes. Yes. Good to see you, dude. Oh. And we got your favorite drink coming up. I'm going to make us some drinks. We had oh, some coffee just, up, to, just to be... Uh, good, to you, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming in. All right. Look at you! You're early. Yeah, I'm early. I, I walked in through the through the foot of snow, which <sighs> is really a drag for me. Well, we we tried to get a doggy door installed for you, but uh... something. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, I am definitely a West Coast guy in New York because I don't I don't have the right shoes. I got my Skechers slip-ons, which are delightful on the yeah, West Coast, but sure. then East Coast, I'm stepping in puddles. Yeah, I got freaking my ankles are frost. But you don't look at the you don't look at the weather before you come to. I just know cold. I I don't. But, like, West Coast cold is like, ah, it's like 40. 
Well, like, like it's not wind and no. wet and all that. Are you that from? Are crap. you from Denver? No, uh, I'm from Orange uh, County. Yeah, I'm from Orange County, California, but I'm a lifelong Broncos fan. What about uh, the uh, the North Pole Elves? What are they doing? Oh my God, they 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 got something else. <laughs> I they, guess so. Yeah, we they did. they oh yeah, they're Thank trained. You. I don't know. Hey, you got <laughs> hey, you, man, dead jokes. Kids don't like them. Yeah, <laughs> kids don't like them. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, uh, this is when the yeah, Denver Broncos. They really are hard for celebrity fans. They they, yeah. they 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 don't have a lot, so they got. Do they hook you up? Yeah, they they got me. So they gave me tickets, field passes. Woo! It's like me and Angela from The Office. Uh, and that, that's it. The Aurora Shooter. Yeah. Maybe, may, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe them. That's about it in terms of celebrity fans. So uh, my 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 advice to young up and coming influencers, comics, whatever, is to pick a team that nobody likes. Ah, uh, the and, Saints. Yeah. So you can be a Saints fan. Yeah. Because like, who else is a Saints fan? It's me and. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. It's Jared a good from Subway. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> it's me and Cosby. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. So that that's it. Pick. Don't go like New York Giants, New York Jets. Unfortunately, rant, like, I'm a Giants fan. See, you're so far down the list, and and that's just. Yeah, I'm also just fucking watching that team this year. Jesus Christ! If I ever see this again, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> this shit was just. Put, pull up this guy, the dad and the agent. It was too fucking much. It was, it's like, kind of funny though when you're losing and you at least get funny shit you know yeah right yeah because then like you're like oh okay my team sucks but i get a scene from the sopranos in the stands <laughs> uh, where they're just doing that thing and right. then well i haven't seen this, this you haven't seen this guy no no oh, this guy tommy devito he was like a third string quarterback they call him tommy cutlets his fan i mean that's that, his agent that's his way. agent oh it's his agent but his agent just got inducted into the national italian american <laughs> hall of fame <laughs> so it's like that's First of all, great. how hit up were they? Yeah. Were they like, oh, Tommy DeVito's agent? We've known who he is for three days? Wow. Yeah, get him into the Hall of Fame. It's between him and Vincent Pastore. <laughs> Do you have a vowel that ends your name? You're in. Wow. <laughs> Who's next? Mike Birbiglia? <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit, he is Italian. Oh, yeah. You're but, Italian. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm so silly, but Birbiglia had that great joke back in the day. He's like, I wouldn't say I'm Italian. I'm like Olive Garden Italian, which is such a perfect line. But By the way, you know who's Italian? Who's that? Nate Bargatze. That's true, Bargatze. Hey. But he doesn't play it up. No, no he doesn't. If he, all you have to do is play it up. He Funny, plays it's up, like they, yeah. they get mad about stereotypes, but then the first guy they fucking induct, <laughs> they're like, don't you stereotype us. This guy's like, oh. Yeah, yeah oh, you're in. these fucking marons, they stereotype <laughs> us. We're not mobsters. Hold on, I'm getting a call later. <laughs> like, it's just, <laughs> come on. It's like, yeah. Do we have Na the tongs? Nate Bargatze plays up the Tennessee thing. The more, way, way more than the Italian thing. Right, that's so true. Yeah. No. Now, I got to ask, because uh, you go to the Denver game, they yeah. fucking go nuts, they love it, they yeah. love you. It must be nice, you just make people happy, right when you show well, up. Pull up the clip of him dancing. Yeah, it's yeah, from my, it's that's from my the Instagram, they put it on my, uh, they, 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 they put it on the big screen, me dancing. But yeah, no, it's great. It's nice that, it's nice to be someone that when I show up, people are like, Ah, yeah. this guy's here. Totally. I like, mean, it's not the opposite. <laughs> I mean, you have your hardships in other ways, uh, obviously. Down. But uh, as sure. a, as yeah, a I mean, guy you never have to buy up. a first class ticket. That's got to be nice, right? Uh, never. Although, wow. Although I will say this, man. I will say this with the first class tickets. Uh, on my flight out here in New York, there it is, right there in the middle. Yeah. What do you go overhead, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Oh. Yeah, and they even put Brad Williams comedian on the big screen. Yeah. So like you know, all right, this isn't just a random dancing dwarf. <laughs> this isn't a, a, this is a seizure. Fucking, I mean, was it, and they're going nuts, right? Yeah, the, the place is going nuts. Here, here's the thing that is amazing. The guy sitting next to me on my left is an older guy. He's got mutton chops. Oh yeah, and uh, he's lip syncing to Who Let the Dog Out. <laughs> and I Hell think yeah. that might be the most progressive thing I've ever. <laughs> Scene. That yes. guy, shout out to that guy. His name is Rob. He's he's actually a master distiller of whiskey. Whoa, Robbie, hit us up. Yeah, uh, uh, he he distills Metallica's whiskey. What? Blackened. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's a great whiskey. That's and he's a friend of mine. Wow. I took him to the game. Hey, uh, oh, sir. So this and is your a favorite gold rush? Yeah, your favorite drink is a gold rush. We yeah. heard. So yeah. 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 Cheers. And he looks like a prospector. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. When he wants some. Oh, I've never had a gold rush. Oh, it's delightful. That's good. 
You made it. Ooh. Oh, you made it well. Really? Good really job. Good. Yeah, it's a little honey syrup, a little lemon juice, and a little uh, bo- a little bodega whiskey. Yeah. You got that right. Hold it, on. It's kind of like in the mm. same. <laughs> oh, very good. Give them a sponsorship. <laughs> it's like the same neighborhood of a whiskey sour, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's so, good. yeah. Sometimes you can throw a little ginger in there if you're fe- if, if you're feeling fancy. This Man. is good. Yeah. Blackened. I thought that was Rachel Dolezal's whiskey. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Okay. No, but I was saying with the whole uh, uh, every seat's first class uh, on the flight over here. This is th- th- this is a pet peeve of mine. It's like, all right, if I get it that the seats can go back, the yeah. coach seats can go back. They have that capability. If you're sleeping, okay. But the lady behind me, or the, la- the, la- the lady in front of me, just slammed the seat back as uh, hard as she could. My, my water bottle went flying because it was on the tray table. Right, and then she didn't like sleep. She just like. Sat straight up, not even putting her back against it, and I'm like, "No, you what? You fucking sleep." <laughs> yeah, you got to lean on that lady. I, yeah. I, that's a peeve when they're like keep hitting it, and I'm like, yes, "It's all the way back." It's back, yeah. bitch. And, and that's and that's me with no legs. My tall friends, they they sit back. Yeah, right. You you, you sit back. They slam the seat into you, and, and then they look back like, "Well, excuse me." And it's like, "That's that's your fucking legs." Yeah, you can't stop that. <laughs> you True. can't like, "Oh, sorry, my legs were in the way." Well, the this is a, the the debate as old as time. Do you recline or do you not recline? What which one is right? And which one is wrong? I say you recline if you're sleeping. Okay. Like if you're using it. Right. Like if you're mm. actually using it. But he, but even so, just a courteous look back. Yeah. I agree. Of like, what's up? And Are a, you okay? And a slow descent. Slow. Don't slam it down. Uh, I like that. that. A slow descent. Uh, you ever I, see the people where they throw the? This is people with long hair where they throw the hair oh! behind. I, now I have to now I have to part your hair to watch Succession. <laughs> fucking correct, like a curtain. Yeah, you do yeah. that. I'm pulling your hair. Like yeah. I, I, I think that's only fair. Right. And that 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 that's how you tell the flight attendant you need service is you yank on the hair. The person screams, <laughs> and then the flight attendant comes back. I think that I, I, th- I think that works out well. Are you alcohol on a flight? Coffee on a flight? What do you drink? Oh, I'm uh. Alcohol, if it's an afternoon flight. Really? Uh, but I'm a tea drinker. I don't drink coffee. Oh. So I, I have a tea, you know, and I ask for a little cream, and they give me a little separate cup for the bag, and I what feel kind very of tea? fancy. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm going to sound like an asshole. Uh, I like I bring my own tea on the flights. Oh, boy. Here we go. Because <sighs> I don't like their tea. It's very basic. It's very... Like I bring, an English breakfast, a chamomile. So you're like a tea Earl snob. Gray. I, I want to know yeah. what the good tea is. I mean, I, I, in the winter, occasionally, I'll, I'll do some tea. Yeah. I, I, I don't have brands. I just kind of look at it, and if it's got a fancy label, I go, yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> well, like, what flavors are we talking about? Oh, if, if, if you got, like, a ginger green tea, I'm all, I'm all Ooh, over that. Right. Baby. I'm all over that. Or, like, uh, Earl, Earl, Earl Grey, but I got syrups at my house, so I'll make, like, Jeez. an Earl Grey with lavender syrup. Ah, oh, it's delightful. Wow, you're like a mixologist with tea. I am. It's pretty great. And then I got, and I got uh, British friends, and I tell them about the teas I'm making. They're like, "You're, you're shit." By the hat, I, <laughs> by the hat, I could tell you had British friends. By the way, hey, Roy, uh. <laughs> I look like a lawn jockey. Uh. <laughs> I do. They have when they have tea in the green room. Sometimes I'll do, especially when you're doing like. A lot of shows, yeah. like th- man, they had throat coat. I was like, "That's a good fucking flavor on a tea." It's a good idea. That's a too. good tea. Yeah. yeah, that's what I called my ex in college. <laughs> <laughs> throat coat. But- <laughs> Remember when it went viral that it was uh, that Nancy Reagan was called throat goat? Yes. What a weird fucking rumor that she gave the best blowjobs. Wow. They There's said. There's no way they use the word goat back in the eighties. No, no, right? it's recent. But oh, they say, okay. Now yeah. they say throat. Oh, yeah, they weren't saying throat goat. <laughs> <laughs> the throat goat. So the only, the only people using that back in the day were like pervy farmers, I think. <laughs> So like she this gave such a good blowjob that Reagan yeah. lost his memories. <laughs> like, like, she sucked the memories out. Of him. He's got nothing left in there. <laughs> like, it must have been other people because I doubt Ronald was being like, you know, who sucks a good dick? My wife. <laughs> yeah, there had yeah. to be someone else. Like, because remember there was that woman uh, uh, who wrote the book like ten years ago, Su- uh, Superhead. Like no. she she yeah. she like had uh, sex with Amber, all the Amber Rose. Uh, no, not not her. I don't remember her name, but she wrote a book about all the dudes she'd slept with. It was like, it, it, it was like all the rappers, Man. all the athletes, 
Yeah, Corinne Steffens. Oh, wow. Um, all the rappers, all, all the athletes, and Bill Maher. Hey! Who's apparently huge <laughs> downtown. Yeah, well endowed. Really? Oh, yeah, real You're talk. Like, really? You're going to suck me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Here's the thing, okay? Yeah. She's going to go down on me. She's going to cup the balls. <laughs> it's going to feel good. Am I going to come? No. He's fucking her. She's like, oh, God. He's like, oh, yeah, God. That's an idea. <laughs> but... By the way, my impression of Bill Maher is just me doing an impression of Kyle Dunn. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, same, me too. Same. He does the, the king. best one. He is the so king. So shout out to him. Did you see the clip of of Rogan trying to show Bill Maher yes, the impression? Yes, he, and he threatened it. to walk out. Which yeah. I'm like, dude, just to, it's you're a comedian. It's an, it's an impression. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 he's sitting there like, I don't sound like that at all. <laughs> Worst oh, really? impression. You think <laughs> that's me? That's uh, what you're gonna. That's what you think I sound like. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's him and Superhead. By the Man. way, what a nickname. Superhead. Yeah. What what a nickname. You better bring the heat, GTA. though. It's kind of like, because like, Pete Davidson's got that joke about how, how Ariana Grande told everyone he had a huge dick, and now yeah. he's like, now he's cursed to be like, whenever he shows oh, it to cursed. a woman. Cursed. Well, no, no. No, hear me out. It's like a blessing. Uh, yeah. it, look, he's, it's a first world problem, but he says now whenever he shows it to someone, they're always going to be a little disappointed oh. because of the reputation of being huge. Right. So it's yeah. almost like you better bring the heat with every yeah, beat. You can't have an off day. Well, that, that, that's like the exact opposite of me because be, be, because I'm a dwarf. They're just like, holy shit, something over three inches? <laughs> <Hey>. Wow. <laughs> Wait Give that guy a participation trophy. Is three inches bad? <laughs> no, but you know what it's like? It's like when... Uh, 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 young comics like this next guy is one of the greats. He's amazing. You got us, and you're like, no, no, I'm, I'm working work- on new shit. Yeah, new shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be bad. Lower well, the bar. What does Chris Rock always say when he shows up at the cellar? Lower your expectations <laughs> every time. <laughs> it, 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 it's a totally good move, though. It works. Yeah, just like yeah, I know you're excited, but cool it a little bit yeah yeah it, you, this is a good drink by the way very I, nice i think we've I think had it, it once before i think beer Jew made it for us once but I, I, it's really good i i i dig it man that's one thing i would have loved to have told myself in my younger drinking days is like because i used to drink like a frat boy you know like it's just shots it's whiskey cokes it's that all that sure. i would i would have been like hey man get like two nice cocktails and that's your night like yes. two nice, two nice cocktails that you sip, you enjoy, get the buzz. Yeah, get the buzz. But going every, every hey, that's night. the problem. When you're young, everyone's a fucking animal. Yeah. So it's like everyone does this. You, then you're the odd man out if you have. Yeah, because they're all like passing around shots of Patron, and, and you're like, I'll take a Manhattan. It's like <laughs> now you look like an asshole. And then it, it, that, and there's certain bars that you go to, and you're like, okay, I can order a cocktail at this bar. Yeah. Right. And there's certain bars that you go to, which is a lot of the bars we probably all went to in our twenties, yeah. where you're like. I'm not ordering anything beyond whiskey, Coke, or rum and Coke. Like yes. that's, that's what they can make. You're here. trying to get the most bang for your buck when you're young. And Mark yeah. and I always talk about there's a bar in the East Village yes. called the Continental. Continental. Ten bucks for five shots. I don't know if they still do that what? deal. Nice. But dude, died. you walk in and it was like... <laughs> Seriously. He died? Someone died doing oh, that. Really? It was in the front page of the Post. Oh, Damn. my God. Well, you can't. You, you, you got to trust the Post. Yeah. <laughs> they they always have accurate headlines. There's one thing I know as a West Coaster. Uh, it's the New York Post. Never lies. It was Greg Giraldo. <laughs> <laughs> Ten shots for five. No, five shots for ten bucks? Uh, yeah, it was bad. At, at, at a place called the Continental? Exactly. It's like a classy <laughs> like, joint. Yeah. Oh, there's Wiener. Good <laughs> that, luck finding man, the headline. We had a good Wiener was that was an incredible. Have you seen the documentary on him? Yes, Anthony I heard it's good. It's yeah. incredible, yeah. really, because yeah. it's just insane that he first off comes back, comes from, back. He comes back from all the adversity, yeah, and then he somehow fucks up again. Yes, wait, he cheated with Tex, and then he got what did he? No, what was he the, cheated on? No, he cheated straight up. He cheated cheated. Straight up cheated. Yes, and he and he got busted originally because he posted a Twitter pic. He did. It was a classic. I don't know how to use Twitter thing. <laughs> so he posted a picture of him in his underwear. And by the way, he's in pretty good shape. Oh, yeah. ripped. And, was, uh, and he's got a little of the Bill Maher thing going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. He was doing all right. Nice dong, dude. If your name, if your last name's Wiener. You better be packed. You got to. Like, yeah. I don't know. You got to be hanging weights from that thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do, do do whatever you can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get the implant. No, he was uh, he was looking good. And then on top, but then what he did the second time was kind of like unforgivable. I think he sent the dick pic with the, the, kid, yeah, with kid. the kid in the background. Oh! <laughs> Which I'm like, have you heard of the crop? Yeah. Oh. You got to crop the picture. And now, No woman's like, oh, cool. He's also a dad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. He's a family man. That's not... 
Yeah. Not a good move. Yeah. Now, and, and and you guys don't have kids. Uh, I've got a daughter. Uh, I've never, while even while the baby monitor's on, that I that I that I can be like, I can get hard. Right. Like, it, no. It's, I get it. It's in, it you, I cannot do it. So I can't. I can't imagine your kid is literally sleeping next to you, and you're like, you know, it'd be a good thing to do right now. <laughs> like, yeah. That that's the thought. You're not like living in the moment. Like ah, this is great. Me and my kid, we're having a cuddle. It's awesome. It's like no. Rock, rock hard. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I gotta send out. Like, it, it, like I don't know if he got a boner randomly. He's like, I can't waste this. I yes. take a photo right now. That's my argument for whenever people are like, Oh, you have a baby. I have a dog, and I'm like, Yeah, but you could fuck with a dog in the bed. You can't fuck with a baby. <laughs> hey, in the bed. hey, hey, easy. Well, easy. I can no. fuck with that thing next to me no, in, in I, I two have. seconds. Yeah, no, <laughs> that dog. Oh, shit. That's how she lost the eye. <laughs> hey, you Pat, better, what you better you keep here? noodle away from my dog here. This is uh, Sam's. Publicist. Oh, this is and a, yours. This is my publicist oh, too. Oh, okay. Hey, her, uh, her. I, I found out yesterday that her name is a verb. Uh, is that if you've been low shacked? That, oh, that means you've been hit up like a lot for one for one for one of her. Hey. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Urban Dictionary. <laughs> I, I, I I saw. <laughs> Oh, I, I, when, when you have a publicist and all she does is be like, have this person on your podcast, have this person on your podcast. I'm like, can you get me on some podcast? Yes. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll see it when I believe Sam, it. Sam. I'll to believe be when I see it, rather. <laughs> We've been to, drinking. To, to be fair, Sam, you're posting clips of you, like, roasting morning TV, and then you're like, how come you can't get me on morning TV? You know what? <laughs> they don't watch those clips. <laughs> Winnie knows. Uh-oh. Easy. Dog fight. Get, get Noodle over here. Let's see. All right, I so mean, do I? So do I have to referee this thing? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that. That'd be a great official job for little people. That would be great. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> She's only got one eye, but that one sense is danger. Yeah, right. This is when black it, on white here. This is a little uh, racial. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's, she's Aww, a nice dog, cute. Winnie. Jesus, Man. Winnie lived in the streets for many, many years. Yeah, Compton. Yeah. Compton. Oh, Winnie throws down. It's like Stevie Wonder. Wonder. He's lying. I feel. I, I feel like us watching these dogs maybe think about fighting is like what you guys see if you see two dwarves having an argument. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and we, man, are like whoa, something magical is about to happen. All right. Like, it's a fight, but you're but you're still like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so cute when they get mad. If they go at each other, it'll just turn to coins. Yeah, <laughs> just like two Sonic the Hedgehogs yeah. running into each other. Right. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> yeah, this is, but that's what's great about being a, a is it little person? What's the term now? Uh, yeah, little person or dwarf is the accurate one. Okay, dwarf no, sounds like it's more offensive. It does, doesn't it? It yeah. does. Sounds I'm like old timey. I'm, I'm, I'm not a guy. Didn't they have a thing in the Seven that. Dwarves where that was offensive? Now, I, uh, yeah, that whole th uh, that fucking story. Okay, oh, okay. we well, don't, I don't get know. into it. No, I, I I get mad about it because uh, so to briefly summarize, uh, they said uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the new the new live action Disney film. Yes. Uh, this they, is a great point. I heard you say this before. Yeah, they, they, were, they were like, well, we can't have dwarves. That's too that that's too offensive. That that because it was like a Peter Dinklage on Mark Maron was like, oh, we're still doing the Seven Dwarves thing, <laughs> and it, it, so then they're like, okay, don't worry. So they he's like it. dwarf Lawrence Olivier. Yeah, it's like yeah, okay, okay, Dink. Like uh, I, I, I call him Dink. Uh, Do you know him? No, <laughs> he doesn't show up to the meetings. Uh, <laughs> but like, it's like yeah, we all could be a little bit more picky about our roles if we were getting them. Like, but if we were working and they're and they're being offered to little people, if if we were just the funny lead Sing or it, the sister. or the guy, but we need like, we need like a we need like a dwarf Hamilton. Ooh, <laughs> like the founding fathers, but they're all little. That would um, fucking that'd that would be, be great, some... but podiums would fuck us up. That's ah. true. <laughs> Every time a dwarf's at a podium, that's the natural enemy. Yeah, you can't, yeah. You can't talk at a podium. You so can have then, a, you can have a Mount Rushmore, but it's just an ant pile. Yeah. <laughs> so then they take out the little people. Instead, they call it Snow White and the Seven Magical Beings, and they post oh. a photo. And this looks like a drum circle at Chico State. Okay, like this is. <laughs> look at this. Like, oh, bust out a hacky sack. Like this. Right. Like, it, it's all different types of people, colors. Which don't get me wrong, I'm fine having female little people, people of color little people, like get that diversity. Sure. But then have it be the damn dwarves. So then that offended people. So like, okay, we'll bring back the dwarves. So they brought back the dwarves in the movie. They completely re-edited it. But 
They did it using CGI. Oh. So now uh, all the dwarves are CGI. So now no dwarves are getting roles. What the hell? Yeah. The taking fuck, your job. At least th- humans had jobs here. Yeah. This is why I'm so glad I'm a comic. I'm like, okay, oh, uh, I can just be funny. Yeah, exactly. Thank Christ. I don't have to have a casting director being like, okay, is it is it the right uh, uh, diversity quotient? Like, no, uh, just be funny. But what about yeah. diversity for you guys? Oh, get about get working even. That's Dude, crazy. So I went to an audition one time, and uh, it, it was not for a dwarf role. It was for a role and the casting director looked at me and goes wow that was great but just so you know we're looking for a diversity hire and I was like you mean this are you just having all sorts of dwarves yeah. bang down your door what's <laughs> happening here? you're a minority I I, I am I, like ooh we're looking for a trans dwarf it's so. like okay give me yeah. a week yeah. <laughs> I can go down to Mexico I can have a surgery we can happen I can identify as yeah they're better off doing a a multicultural seven dwarves with yeah. Snow White you know get a Mexican beanie then we'll get a diabetes <laughs> we'll get a, we'll get all the groups the way, beanie sounds like a great racial slur for a Mexican dwarf that that was the joke. Uh, That's what oh, I was saying. Shit. Okay, <laughs> I was sorry. Doing, I told you. Diabetes was the black one. Yeah. Little pe- according to Little People of America, there yep. are an estimated 65,000, only 65,000 dwarves in the United States. Yeah. That's nothing. Uh, That's nothing. That's less than Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? God willing. By, by, <laughs> million. <laughs> by million. Is there a Jew dwarf? Oh, oh of course. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Oh, That's gee, a... you want to hear complaining. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, luckily, I don't hear it. <laughs> That's a tiny yarmulke. What is that? Just a rich cracker? Clip it. <laughs> Pull Jewish up Jew Dwarf. Dwarf. We got to see Pull this. Pull up Jew Dwarf. This He's just is... riding on a dreidel. Whoa. Oh, this sounds like this, the This worst is my impression comic. of a Jew Dwarf. <laughs> this is my impression of a Jew Dwarf. Is it cold down here? <laughs> hey, I like it. <laughs> That's good. Hold on. I'm going to write down all of these. This is going to be brand new 10 minutes. So, all right. So, I've been trying out this new... Bit. Oh, there you and go. The dwarves Do- of Auschwitz. Oh, oh yeah. Holy oh, shit. Oh, I'm trying man. to make this. I I want to make this as a movie. So like, yes. so yeah. this is a family of a family CGI. of little people. Not CGI. No. You <laughs> sm- <laughs> my own. Uh, they so, don't have to go in the oven as long. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> they, oh my god. They went in an easy bake oven. <laughs> <laughs> They Clip don't t- it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't take trains as a radio flyer. <laughs> so this is a whole family of little people that uh, that were that were in Auschwitz, and they the uh, Nazi doctors were like experimenting on them and like doing medical, and they survived it. They 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 survived it, but they obviously were uh, mutilated and had a really hard life after that. Oh. But I want to make this movie so bad, sure. Because I mean, come on, it's got it's got everything the Academy. Academy loves disability, Nazis, like, come yeah, on. Yeah, minorities. Yeah, it'd be a good survival story. We, I love it. We haven't gotten this Holocaust tale. Yeah, yeah, we can make one of them gay. Come on, like, <laughs> let's do it. Let's make this movie. I love it. That's a great idea. Why is there a dwarf with a swastika on his chest? Well, they had to be dwarf Nazis as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cute. You're looking for dwarf Nazis? <laughs> My algorithm's Even, all fucked up now. <laughs> Even Hitler was like, we need a diversity hire. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> Dwarf Nazis. <laughs> 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 oh, this is killing me. Which is what they say. His name is Bitler. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. Flip it. laughs> um, well. Sorry. Oh my God! What are the what are, like the Holocaust movies? We do need a little person one, I think. I I, I agree. I yeah. Think, I, I think it'd be great if you're taking away Snow White and the Seven Dwarves from us. Give us something else. If if, if you're giving the Oompa Loompa role to Hugh Grant, <laughs> right? Fuck that guy. I know. We've been having a lot of Hugh Grant trashings on this pod lately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, I mean, you start taking roles from little people, you deserve it. Here, here. Yeah. It, it, it like it, what is he? He's the stumbling, mumbling Oompa Loompa. Like, oh, so, so, so. Everlasting gulp stop. Nice. Give it to another little person. Come on. <laughs> here, here. My God, taking away our roles. So I got to. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to write my own dwarf Holocaust movie in order to get a fucking part. 
I like it. <laughs> I, I mean, this is gold. It's a shoe in It's a can't miss. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, it's because because now it's award season. We're seeing all the all, all the award shows. Are you a big movie person? I like movies, but I haven't been watching a ton of them. Just you not know. what they used to be. I mean, with the Marvels and the the whatnots. Speaking of, dude, yeah. Mar- Norman wrecked uh, Fargo season five. Fun, right? I watched it because of you. It's John fucking Ham- killer, dude. John Ham's in I it. I love Ham. it. Yeah. Is he a boy? Yeah, uh, I mean, he's just he's. We just love Ham. Looking. We're Ham fans, and Ham. We know you've listened to an episode. Come on, yeah. Come yes. on, come on the pod, yeah. Ham, make yourself useful as a publicist. Wow, come on. John Ham. There's another guy who's packing. <laughs> oh, he's got a hog on him. You see Damn, look at that. Ha- wow, Ham, Ham has a hog. Yeah, <laughs> Ham hog. Yeah, no, yeah. No, he's killer on it. Jennifer Jason Lee is killer on it. Yeah, she's yeah. great. John, yeah, John, yeah. John Ham loves comedy. He's from St. Louis. He's friends with the Sklar brothers. Oh, oh yeah, shit. yeah. They went to like the same high school or something. What? Also, uh, fucking what's it? Dave Foley, man. Yeah, Foley's look, great in it. Everyone is great on. But yeah, this season's kill. It's a, you're right, Kill Bill vibes. It's mad fun. It's all oh, women, it's really good. You know, women forward like uh, the women. But are it's, the heroes. it's fun. It's but really it's still good. Fun. Nice. And Ham kills it. Ham's like a right wing, like uh, libertarian Militia type psycho. guy. Yeah, but he's fun. so good. In it. The pierced nipples too. Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, the <laughs> details. The <laughs> Boy, what a striking, handsome hunk of a man. There. I I hope John Ham was like, let me think about something to add to this character. <laughs> pierced nipples. Like I hope that was his idea. Yeah, like, are you watching it? Uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I I know everyone's been talking about it. It's how fucking great good. It is. Yeah, well, like all those seasons of Fargo, wasn't like Chris Rock and one? Yeah, I, I missed that. I gotta watch that. That one. was fun. Yeah, Fargo kills it, and it's it's produced by the Coen Brothers, so I think they they keep that an guy, eye on that it. That guy Noah Hawley too is just fucking. Yes, great. he writes all of it. So yeah, I, I got some peeves. I don't know if you guys. Peeves. Uh, peeves. I, I, I've been locking and loaded. I had a, a wacky week with okay. just peeve galore. I got some peeves too. So buckle up, folks. Love a good peeve. <laughs> All right, hold on. Here we go. Okay, first peeve. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the. Uh, you're at a restaurant. You're enjoying your meal with your buddy. You're having a yep. good convo. The manager of the restaurant, some dweeb in a tie and glasses, comes over and goes, Hi, I just wanted to check in, see if you guys are enjoying everything. Mm. And I'm like, well, that's what the waiter's for. Yeah. We don't need you, because now I have to just blow you a little. I have to go, oh, we love it here. Oh, you yeah, don't say. Yeah, he gives you the whole, and if there's anything that, yes. that we that we can do to make your, like, like that the waiter can't do? Exactly. He, he might be a fan of yours. Well, he did the whole restaurant. Oh, okay. So now yeah. I was, I was, I was like, here it comes. T minus two minutes before this guy hits our table. He was a praise slut. He was just going around, <laughs> going around table yes. to table, looking for praise. That's like, what hey, it is. How's your tiramisu? Right. You know? Come and on. I, and you could see the eye, his eyes are just like, don't yelp, don't yelp. <laughs> tell, tell me now, whatever there's a problem with. Is there anything I can do? It's yeah. Like, what, what could you? There's nothing you can do. I mean, yeah. Build an Comp Instagram friendly wall right over there so I can take a <laughs> selfie in your yeah. restaurant. Like that's what you could do. <laughs> right. Right. Live, like, laugh, love, or whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything to do? Yeah, there's this one waitress here. I really want to fuck her. Could you put in a word? <laughs> no, there's nothing you can do. No, nothing. And you, you just know it's coming. It's going to ruin the, the, the meal. You got to yeah. go, oh, yeah, it's great. Thank Comp you. Comp the dessert. That's there what, you go. That's what you can do. It's a do. nice restaurant thing. They're not doing that at Panera. No, <laughs> no. They're like, we actually want to make sure you're having a bad time here. Yeah. Uh, were you guys enjoying your baguettes? Does your lemonade need more caffeine? Yeah, right. Are you still alive? Can we add Can we add another shot of espresso to that thing? Yeah, please mind the chalk outline over there on the floor. Don't they serve coffee at Panera? Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's, who, a good, it's a good road spot, actually, Panera. It, oh, it's a great road spot. Solid. But I'm just saying, who, who goes to Panera where they have coffee and goes, eh, lemonade? I need, I need my lemonade. Does the lemonade up. really have caffeine? Yeah, it's called really? charged up lemonade. Oof. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's actually killed a few people. Whoa! I, I, I think you can look this up. Uh, Panera lemonade death. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like it's like killed a few people. Yeah. Holy shit! We should drink <laughs> that next Fa- week. <laughs> yeah. Family sues Panera Bread after college student who drank charged lemonade. How dies. many did he drink though? I want to see. <laughs> did he- uh, she had a heart condition, it says, and wasn't okay. aware the drink had caffeine. That's fair, though. Lem- just saying it's lemonade, you don't yeah. know. Yeah, because uh, the amount of caffeine 
exceeds a, exceeds a Red Bull. So it's more Whoa. than a, it's more than a Red Bull in lemonade. Whoa! That, that's, oh, I think this contains. Did you just say this? I was reading. Yeah. Sorry, contains more caffeine than a Red Bull. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, that's what I just said. Okay. There's an echo in the building. Right. Okay, the glasses cover his ears as well. Okay, uh, but yeah, like the in because lemonade is a sit on the front porch and freaking in a rocking chair and ha- have a nice relaxing time. It's not a well, I got to have a power lunch. Charge up yeah. my lemonade. Yeah, right. I don't like. I mean, co- I like the taste of coffee. I yeah. need coffee, and all the energy drinks kind of suck. I did a Monster Energy. I, no, oh. it was Rockstar. Which who sponsored my? I tour? think it was Rockstar. Was it? Rockstar? No, it might, might have been Monster actually. Huh? One one of the energy drinks. One of the energy drinks mm-hmm. uh, sponsored it, and and they made Four me loco. Have- <laughs> 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 but they were like, "All right, take a sip." I'm like, "No." Whoa! <laughs> I'll, ha- I'll I'll have it on the stage, but I'm not. I don't. I smell it. It tastes like shit to me. It's oh, it's wow. chemical. It's that it's being said, poison. if they bring more money to the table, I will do it again. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. And why is it everyone I see drinking that white monster can is like the laziest person on the planet? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's never a guy who's like chugging away the midnight oil, doing yeah. the crunching numbers with a green visor on. Right. It's no. just a guy you know sitting around he, watching he, yeah, his phone. He's, he's like playing online video games. Yes. He's like I gotta stay up for twenty hours. Exactly. And kill it in Fortnite. Yeah, it's a gamer. I, it's like I need a new gun. Remember the about how I, I make uh, instant oatmeal, but then I just don't do anything. Oh yeah, <laughs> I could oh, make the regular funny. stuff and feel productive. <laughs> <laughs> Great joke. That's funny. Yeah, these are the laziest people ever. Yeah. Celsius is pretty damn good, though. I gotta say, I like Celsius. And that's it the, works. That's the only one I like, but I still prefer coffee. But like, if sure. you're in a rush, man, mm-hmm. the. the, 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 the sparkling flavors are pretty fucking good. Pretty like damn good. And, oh, more yeah. than a coffee too. It's it's. That'll fuck. You. That's the only one, though. I don't like the taste of the others. They Man. taste like weird. Yeah. yeah. Energy drinks work way too well on me. Really? Oh, yeah. I don't drink coffee and I don't really like energy drinks. I just, drink, like, like I said, I just drink tea. So when I have an energy drink, like it, I'm up. Yeah. For like three <laughs> days. Not, I never, comics who don't drink coffee, I don't understand because of our fucked up hours. Like Norman used yeah. to not drink coffee and I would be like, how the hell are you doing? Back when we were doing like morning radio yeah, it was all tough. the time. And the hangovers. Coffee will kill a hangover, which is nice, too. Oh, help. Yeah, it'll help. Yeah, my whole thing is you got to for me to like it. I have to put so much sugar and cream into it. It's now like a milkshake uh, that's coffee flavored. Well, the rock star, the monster is tough for you because you're the size of the can. <laughs> you know, you're 16 it really ounces. Is. I, like, like, like I hold a rock star can. They're like, why does that dwarf have a barrel? <laughs> <laughs> barrel of rock star. <laughs> right, right. I, I think they're all bad news. And uh, yeah, get a cup of coffee. Also, like the coffee's warm and it's inviting. Like mm-hmm. uh, you go to a diner. How you doing, hon? They pour you a mug of coffee. Uh, you got the mug going. Nothing like a hun from a waitress. Oh, I love a hun. Not and not not a hot waitress. I need, yes. I, 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 I need an older. Give me a yeah. Bertha. Weathered. Fifty-five year old. She's been there for thirty years. Yeah, beaten maybe yeah, yeah. a few times <laughs> by the husband. I'm definitely the not on first husband. Yeah, uh, definitely on second or a third. A little bit of an attitude. A little bit of an great. attitude. Yeah. Although you ever get the Greek guy who's like, I make it the way you like. You're like, that's Ooh, that nice. feels that's like a warm. Oh, my friend, my friend, oh, I make whatever you want. Uh-oh. Yeah, a, oh, man, there's a, I go to an egg oh, sandwich place Dinklage. in my neighborhood. He's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I go to an egg sandwich place, and the guy always goes, the usual? And I'm like, ooh, that's a good feeling. That is huge. Not having to say it, you just know. Oh, that is, if we ever get a sandwich named after us, I'll I'll die happy. Well, that Larry David episode, that Kerr, where he was mad he got the whitefish sable sandwich, I'm like, <laughs> I like those. But he wanted turkey. Turkey is like... Number one. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the other white meat. Are you leveled up to the point where your deli guy knows your name? No. No, he doesn't know my name. Okay. No. no. Not there yet? Not see, there yet, dude. See, that, see, that's the thing. If I go to a place twice, they know me. <laughs> <laughs> no no, no one ever goes, who are you? <laughs> that's a good point. Is that we met? No, no. no that's, that's the Brad. other one. That's the other yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I go to a place twice. Like, like, I've been to, I've been to places, uh, grabbing a bite to eat on on the road and then and then I'll go back like a year later and then I'll go to the same spot when I'm on the when, when I'm in that town again and I've literally had the guys go you never come around anymore what uh, the heck good to see you again and I'm like wow. yeah, I, I don't live here wow <laughs> that's great that is my favorite part of the road though is just knowing like which diner to just yeah. hit? I mean, yes. just having that familiarity. You drop me in almost any city in this country, I'll find a decent diner. Yep. There, there's a place I've eaten. There's a there there's a good bar, something like that. Exactly. That's, uh, people were like, "Oh, you go in there." I'm like, "Whatever city in this country, I will find a cool spot." And I mean, I was like inspired by old Bourdain episodes where oh, you yeah. just like find the best in any place. Yeah. And, 
And doesn't uh, have to be the the the, the fanciest the no. hoity toity shit. No, like, no, no. You can find a good like a good a boxcar diner. Ooh. Ooh. Can't beat it. Get a tuna melt, a fucking omelet, mm-hmm. something good. <laughs> yeah, a lady who's got a pencil in her hair. I love that. <laughs> That's All nice. Right. Are the you refill? Guys, are, are you guys Waffle House guys? Uh, I grew yeah. up on Waffle House. I, yeah. Look, I'll go, but it's not like my number one choice. It's not the but best. Like, but like, yeah, I, cheesy eggs, I'll fuck, I'll fuck I mean, with the Waffle it's, House. It's dinner in a show. Nah, that's true. Well, certain shows you don't want to see, though. Yeah. That's, that 3 or 4 a.m., it could get dicey. There's a clip. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's so many Waffle House fights clips, but there, there, there's one where a chair gets thrown at a waitress, and she catches I've the seen chair. that. Yeah. Yes. That one's ridiculous. He's, well, yeah, she's like fucking John Wick. Yeah. The yeah. crazy thing is some of these people, they're just, it's it's second nature. You work a night shift of this, at this place. Oh, yeah. So my buddy applied to be a, a tow truck driver, and he mm-hmm. sat down. The first thing the guy said is, can you fight? And I think that's the same as Waffle House. <laughs> yeah. I, can yeah. your buddy fight? There he could fight. There, he took she caught it right there. There it is. A white lady. Boom. One. Bam. Two. Wow. That was like some John Cena shit. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. so shit. good. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think... Yeah, because w- there was that thing uh, a couple years ago where there was there was one of the school shootings. They're like, arm the teachers. I think we should arm the Waffle House waitresses. <laughs> that's I, good. That that's who needs that's who needs a firearm. <laughs> <laughs> Waffle House waitresses. That's so true. Yeah, <laughs> it's WWE in there every night. Yeah, it, it, when this might this this actually goes into one of my peeves is you kind of see it in that clip. Now when stuff is happening, people aren't rushing to break it up. People aren't rushing to help. Everyone turn. Oh, everyone yeah. just takes out the phone. Can you believe this shit? Phone now with like the blizzards and when it's like natural disasters, people are walking outside. Like, look at that person drowning right in front of my house. You're like, I don't know. Save the dude. Like, yes. jump in there. No, so no, no. True. You got to get your likes, dude. Come on. <laughs> I know. It's an I remember I was, I was at a comedy club once, yeah. stand up New York back in the day, and a comic fucking snapped on stage. Yeah, and. Tell us more about Ari Shafir. <laughs> <laughs> He's going yeah. at it. He's going at it with an audience member. It's yeah. a lightly attended show. Yeah. And they keep going back and forth, and he just puts the mic down and does this. Ah. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I you know, I say to the host, I'm like, man, we should do something. And he goes, yeah, takes his phone out, videotapes ah. it. <laughs> that was the best thing he could have done for that comic that moment right there. I don't know. Film that. Yeah, because I've had times where like he, the comic was bigger than the. It was not oh, going to be okay. a fair fight. Oh, <laughs> it was an old dude. He started. He got no fight. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. I've had times where I've been on stage and then like s- some heckler will yell something out and literally right when they do, the entire audience just holds up their phones. I'm like, God, like stop it! Like now, yeah. I, I I had a comeback that I was very confident with. And now I'm looking around like, ooh, do I want to say this out of context? Yeah, good it, point. Yeah, it, I, I don't like it. An out of context cunt <laughs> makes you look bad, you know? But if you just throw, if it's a deserving cunt, it's a good line. Wait, yeah. what's, what are you pulling up? Oh, shit. This is a front kick. A front right kick. Right out of the mic. So this is a woman offended, or who's the comic here? Uh, I don't know, it's a small town. Oh, there he is. Oh, jeez. Oh, this, this triggers me. This brings me back. Hey, remember open mic? This is my first year. Oh! That was warranted. That was warranted. This is when they got to play the Hulk Hogan music. Oh. I am a real American. <laughs> Pull up the DC Young Fly where he, he knocked the guy out on stage. What? Yeah. I mean, these are some, some uh, what's what's the hard pipe N-words as uh, <laughs> what's the Ving Rhames line? Yes. <laughs> I'm bringing some dudes with pliers. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get beat evil on your ass. <laughs> DC Young Fly. Uh, you got you to gotta, you gotta fast forward. So he's talking shit. Uh, you missed Tease. it. You missed it. You know Tommy Tees? I've been. Oh, I have a. St- I have a story like this from to- from, from Tommy oh, Tees. Oh, here we go. What, is this a club? Yeah, yeah, it's in Pleasanton, California. Wow, Pleasanton. Yeah, that's East Bay, so not San Francisco. Oh, that's after it. the fight, right? This must be it, after. It says after because he knocked the dude out. Yeah, you got to find the uh, the actual. F- List had punch. a story about DePaulo doing that. To that's someone. right. Yeah, yeah. Well, DePaulo played uh, football in DePaulo college. DePaulo, he's still kind of ripped. Yeah. yeah, he's a dude. He looks, he looks good. So I was at Tommy T's, the club where this happened, mm-hmm. and uh, 
I uh, I did a joke that I used to do. Uh, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Heckler videos, and everyone's like, uh, Sam Morrill. That, that one went viral, that one. Love oh, that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, some woman went at me, and I was like, ooh. Here we go. Omaha Funny Bone, baby. Omaha. I'll be back there in a couple weeks. <laughs> in a week, I think. <laughs> great club. <laughs> it's I great love that club, club. yeah. Love Colleen, Colleen, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Colleen. And by the way, I, I did have a great time in Philly. I didn't mean to sound like I was... Uh, Saying bad stuff about the club, they were great. We gotta wow, find the actual got fight. Yeah, yeah the maybe they scrubbed it for legal reason, but it was yeah. it was everywhere for a while. But sorry, with Tommy T. Yeah, when I was at Tommy T's, there uh, I I did a joke about how everyone thinks I'm Wee Man, but then Wee Man's real name is Jason Acuna, so it's like I, he's I go he's Mexican. I'm 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 not. Mexican, I go, oh, man, Mexican dwarf. Something about, like, uh, how high does the border wall have to be? Some old joke like that. <laughs> That's fun. And, uh, and then someone just yelled out, fuck you, I'm not Mexican. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I was talking about another guy. Yeah. And he was so drunk, he started yelling, and the bouncers came up, picked him up, and then used his head as a battering ram to open the door. Whoa. And knocked out the window. Knocked wow. out the window. I've heard a homophobic, but he uh, Mexican-phobic? That is yeah. like a weird one. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. But yeah, that that was a solid one. There, wow. Uh, there, there at Tommy T. I am not Mexican. I experimented <laughs> in college. <laughs> you know? uh, that's so good. <laughs> I had a chimichanga once. <laughs> Well, that's a good it, point. It was a different time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, the, my my thing is av, after the Will Smith, Dave Chappelle thing, if someone's walking up on stage, you don't know what their intentions are. I know, are. I know, I there, know. There was, a, there, there, there was that woman from The Voice. Uh, she did a concert, and then she's doing a meet and greet afterward, and a guy just came up and shot her in the head and killed what? her. What? Who to who? Uh, what? To, there was a there was a contestant on The Voice, and she's oh, doing wow. a concert. Uh, good looking woman. Yeah, Christina then, Grimmy. Yeah, and then uh, uh, a f a fan, one of those like stalker, creepy guys, like Ugh. thinks they're married or something. Oh like, yeah, he just walks up. All it takes is one man. Yeah, crazy. straight up. It, Whoa, so, that shit's terrifying. That is terrifying. So I like, didn't even hear about this. Yeah, so like if someone's walking up on stage, you don't have time to like discuss like hey what are your intentions right yeah, now yeah like, yeah no I, no it's so funny that, that you shit. feel more so uh paranoid ever since it's will smith that did that to you it's like <laughs> I know, you're like i don't funny. trust this dude in this toledo strip mall because of the fresh prince <laughs> that's why. true that's a good point <laughs> but it's really true i definitely put my and then the Chappelle thing happened not long after that and mm -hmm. but you know i remember at the cellar one night a guy threw a fucking beer bottle at dave attell really and attell fucking the sweetheart he is yeah the guy was shit faced got arrested dave attell gave his friend bailout money oh jeez you know, the world that's fucking best world, dude the world doesn't deserve dave attell here here he's so good <laughs> you the, got be that right. the best dude and the nicest dude yeah so. and, and still one of my favorite comebacks for a heckler uh, I was watching him at the Irvine Improv, and he did some joke, and some lady yelled, Fuck you, Dave! And then he responded by going, All I heard was, Come, come, gurgle, gurgle, and the sound of, and the sound of a father crying. Ah! Wow. Ah! So good. So good. He's the king. He's the best. I've God. told this story before, but I saw there was a guy, a black guy in the front row with dreadlocks, like a super hipster guy, and he goes, What are you doing here? And the guy goes, I'm a huge fan of yours. And he goes, You're a fan of mine? Mm -hmm. Jeez, most of my fans look like they can pull a dead dog out of a fountain without <laughs> flinching, but can't tell their daughter I love you. <laughs> I was like, Jeez. where did he pull that from? Oh I've never heard that one. That's phenomenal. I think it was on the on the fly and never Dude, again. He, uh, I remember one time at the cellar, three dudes in glasses, because you have to walk through the room to yeah. go to the bathroom. Three dudes with glasses yeah. all coming to the bathroom, and Dave goes, what is that, a nerd portal? <laughs> <laughs> Crushes. Yeah. <laughs> We got to get him on here for a special. He, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pull him kicking and screaming because he hates doing pods. But, yeah, you know, yeah, his special, I think, is gonna be on Netflix. So. I think it is. Yeah, I'm really guys got to get low shacked. Yeah, <laughs> get him on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking tell new special. Very, that's like the best thing to happen to comedy for a while. Mm -hmm. so. There's very few that I circle that I'm like, I gotta watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Dave is just the best obviously after my special dropped on veeps and you watch that <laughs> is yours on where's your special right now <laughs> exactly uh <laughs> veeps veeps uh, with yeah. julia louis dreyfus that's where you can find it yes uh, yes doing that uh, yeah uh, v-e-e-p-s they, they they start off as like a 
concert thing so you could watch concerts. They, they got shows by like Alicia Keys and Imagine Dragons up there, and now they're doing comedy specials. It's oh, like, nice. It's like me, David Cross, oh, nice. uh, Reggie Watts. Hey. Uh, yeah, Starfish. Whoa. That's the new special. Hey, look at that slick! Good. Look at that slicked back hair. You look nice. Yeah, great Thank little jacket. You. I love it. Yeah, so mixed that, colors, baby. Yeah, or, wow. or, orange and blue. Broncos fans, so that's yeah. why they're gonna uh, put this on Netflix with Hugh Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Hugh's gonna start doing my jokes. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's very, it, it's very hard to be a dwarf. Very, very hard to be a dwarf. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the problem with dwarf comedy, it's a low bar. Hey. All right, but <laughs> no, this is great. And you know, at one point, Netflix. Was a Veeps. Yeah, that was yeah. like a, oh, what's this? Let's try it out. Exactly. And you never know. So this is cool. Yeah. So I love nice. it, man. I mean, it's. And it, it looks well shot. Look it at looks that. fucking great. Cats? Uh, did, Katz, that? did Cats direct this? Uh, Jason Katz? Jason Katz, uh, the guys from Interpound Gorilla, whatever. Yeah. Oh, Anthony. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, DraftKings Sportsbook, folks. It's an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs. It's bringing you an offer that's going to make the playoffs seriously awesome. New customers get or can bet five bucks on any game and get two hundred instantly in bonus bets. Everything's more fun when you got some skin in the game, and DraftKings makes it easy to get involved. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code WMBD. New customers can bet just five bucks to get two hundred instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code WMBD. The crown is yours. Got a gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. Do we do all the states? In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-777 or visit ccpg.org. Please pay responsibly. On behalf uh, of... Are we going to get to South Dakota here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21-plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Woo! Is finally quitting that nasty hand-to-mouth habit on your to-do list this year? If you're really struggling to quit bad habits, it's time to check out Fume. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that's totally going to turn your habit on its head. Keep everything you've been doing, taking a step outside, fidgeting with your hands, getting a little break from the world, but the bad part of the habit is completely gone. That's because instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is totally natural. Instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. Uh, Mark smokes this shit like crazy. He's not here right now to tell you about it. He's pissing, but uh, I don't smoke. But Mark had to kick this stuff many times. Mark used to do heroin. He's really turned his life around. Stick with the original or kick things up a notch with a brand new Solano Fume. It's made with a premium walnut barrel and an onyx-coated mouthpiece with a slightly softer finish. Right now is the best time to start the good habit with Fume. All orders for a month of January have a buy one, get one cores so you can stock up for the New Year's resolution. Plus, our listeners get an extra 10% off when you use our code. Head to fume.com slash drunk and use our code drunk for an additional 10% off. Plus, BOGO cores until January 31st. To help make starting the good habit that much easier, that's fum.com slash drunk. Yeah, looks and, great. And, th- and, th- and this was shot here in New York at uh, Sony Hall. Wow. Uh, great. Our great, friends great uh, Rachel Feinstein and Keith Robinson just shot specials there for, for Netflix. Great it was, venue. It's uh, yeah. you know it's, like, it's larger than a club, smaller than a theater, so it's got the noise but still intimate. Yeah. Love and, it. Uh, yeah, it was, a lot, it was a lot of fun. Hope everyone enjoys enjoys the special. Go and watch that right oh, now. Yeah. So it's at veeps.com. Yeah, veeps.com. Just- you can do veeps.com slash Brad Williams or veeps.com and just, ser- and just search for it after you watch the uh, Alter Ego concert it was some 41 in yellow card <laughs> then, you, then you could go watch my comedy special I was at that concert it was fucking great hell yeah <laughs> I kind of like those those tunes man those like not very 90s like yeah uh, 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 Adam Devine had a great joke about those kind of punk bands where it's like every song started off with uh, a season and a location mm. so every 
every song is like summer the city I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's killer true. it was fall my grandmother's house like it's all that <laughs> kind of shit well it's funny because those i used to like blink 182 and all that Hell shit yeah. it is it's like sad boyfriend uh, songs, but they put it with like a good bass line. Yeah. It's, it's all just whiny dudes. Like, she, don't, like she broke my heart, and yeah. then I fart, you know, or whatever. <laughs> but I feel like they're having a resurgence, Blink-182. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, because well, they're back on tour. Some 41 just announced it's their last tour, and then they're going to break up, to which everyone was like, they were still together? Yeah. <laughs> also, I think it's some 58 at this point. Like, how old are we? I, 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 I saw them a few days ago. They fucking killed it. All right. They all right. Great. He was banging Avril Lavigne for a while, that front man. Yeah, Derek uh, something. Yeah. He's Canadian, so uh, yeah, she likes to keep it in the in the Canadian family because she right. was also with the lead singer in Nickelback. Wow, yeah. really? Avril Lavigne was with the lead singer. Yeah, there he is. Woo, that's a tough look. <laughs> that's the Sum 41 guy? Or? Yeah, that's the yeah. Sum 41 guy. So, he, yeah, he looks a lot better now. He had, a, he, had, he had a bit of an addiction problem for a rock star. I know, who knew? As you should. <laughs> that's appropriate. But yeah, now he's thin. He's got more energy than anything. Like he was running around on stage. I heard it's charged thing. lemonade. Is the secret? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they fucking killed it, man. And yeah. the whole uh, the whole crowd's in their mid uh, in their mid thirties, just dancing around. And oh, all, and, fun. and all the people younger than that are like, when, when's the nineteen seventy five coming on? Nah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know about them. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, I don't it's know. I, I'm not sure. But the but the girls were going crazy when they when they came on stage. Yeah, they're they're pretty huge. But but uh, what was that? Fe- it was like Nostalgia Fest. It was in Vegas. Oh, uh, it was we, huge. We might be, or we're no longer young. We might be young. Yes. Something. That like, like broke records for tickets. Yeah, it was like Sum 41, My Chemical Romance. When there it young? is. When we were young. When we were yeah. young. Yeah. It's kind Ball- of a sad notion, but it, it fucking worked. <laughs> there, there, there are certain genres of music that uh like green day up top green day hell yeah that's There's, a big get who beats up a dwarf Come i on. know Come well there's, on. there's no dwarf hate who, group. who was beating you up who was uh <laughs> you hear that how do you feel now well, you big man? How, how bad were you getting beat up not that bad because people like people like beat me up one time and then got suspended and uh i was friends with a lot of the older kids and then they they retaliated. Yeah, so, uh, hell yeah. I was all right. Yeah. Well, the problem with a beating up a bullying a dwarf is they give you a swirly. You might go in. You know, <laughs> I'm actually down flush. the pipe. Yeah. What happened, what, happened, what happened to Brad? He's at the sewage processing <laughs> plant right now. Do 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 Right there. That's not. That's. There's no way that's him. Hispanic? San Diego. Are you from? I'm Northern? not from San Diego, but I'm from Southern California. Okay. Is that him? Pull up his photo. What's he do now? Oh, this is good. Experienced. That's him. Oh, oh shit. Logistics found specialist. The first time Salakis has found a fucking... Hey, we see you in, in San Diego. Hey, we played the Balboa, Mark. It's, it's going on. down, baby. I'm playing the Balboa this, uh, this week. Holy shit. Two tickets. And by that, I mean <laughs> ten fingers. Let's fucking go, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, yes. Let's go. Holy shit. I apologize. <laughs> Do. You invite him as a friend, yeah, and then you fucking corner his ass. <laughs> yeah, yes. you get a crew. I'll I'll do the uh, what everyone said that uh, 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 Phil Collins did, like have the one spotlight come down on him as they start doing jokes <laughs> right, about right. him. I'll do that move. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, Holy shit. If he's you in think, the crowd. You think there'd be more in Southern California? Yeah, true. <laughs> Apparently not. There's one. If he's in the crowd, be like, oh, what was that? Uh. Get him out of here. <laughs> Tase him. Just make up that he heckled. Just he said the N word. Yes, he did. I heard him. Wait, click back on it. <laughs> uh, I feel like I need to apologize for your fans that are now going to look him up and message him. But hey, he, he he's an experienced inside outside sales representative and logistics specialist. I don't know what that so, is. So uh, I don't know either. Oh, at the university. Yeah. So if you need that, Glad, up, glad a guy that beat the shit out of you when you were in fourth grade is a teacher now. That's great. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> don't get too mad at him. He was no, a kid at the we time. We were kids. I'm I'm kidding, okay. obviously. Don't 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 like bomb him with hate mail with Don't with... feel like it. In which yeah. case do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Unless you're unless you're a dwarf dwarf civil rights activist. <laughs> right. Uh, go go right ahead. So how how bad did they get him back? What's that? How bad did they get uh uh, 
they, not not like you know not like they beat him up beat him like it was just, it was just like they roughed him up a little bit he was fine he came to school the next day okay like this this, this wasn't like Tommy DeVito right. call, calling his boys <laughs> having, and, and and having a little leg clubbing like that like right. that did not happen that's, okay that's so crazy you found the guy well done the Google one bitch. time you fucking nail it Sal Jesus Christ <laughs> he can't find one of my recent tweets. <laughs> But he's able to track down people. What are you like? You're a now, fucking. You're ah. now gonna give him the money every year. Yeah. The, the, the best and fastest thing he found, which will, which will never be the G spot. Uh, ah. ooh, ooh. Jokes. Ah. Woo, doggy. All right. Oh man. You got any bullies? Let's pull them up. Bullies? Nah, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> Any extra but I did. We should yeah. go after. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody fuck the football player after yeah. you? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? You're let's... playing the Balboa. That's a big deal. It is. That's a great room. It is. It's a great room. Thankfully, it uh, it's sold out, and uh, so I'm, I'm doing okay. And it's nice. So you guys have your whiskey. Uh, uh, oh in, yeah. In San Diego, I have a beer. Really? Uh, I'm co-owner of a brewery down there. What? It's called Thorn Street Brewery. Hell yeah! So yeah, get the uh, get the bu- get get the Barrio Lager. It's brewed it's brewed with 100 percent pure agave. It's this delightful. Great. Wow, I, I love, love I love San Diego. Man, what a town! Yeah. Great city. I always have a great time there. Great it's, people. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and, yeah, the, and the crowds are fucking good. Yeah. Oh, the crowds are killer. And the I whole mean. Gaslight District, that's where all the bars and yeah. stuff are. And, and that's like where my ex-girlfriend four... lived, the Gaslight District. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you like it. Yeah. <laughs> Some good memories there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's a great town to go to. It really is. And you guys, so you guys played the Bobo together? Ooh, a Michelada. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love a Michelada. You love a Michelada? Why the fuck not? Yeah, you don't like a Michelada? I like a Michelada. I like a we... Bloody Mary more, but I'll do a Mitch. I don't like I don't like tomato juice, so I'm not a fan. Mm. But it, if you enjoy ours, go for it. How do you not have pony sizes? I mean, I feel like you missed the boat on that. <laughs> we got kegs. All right, all right. But uh, La Jolla's killer too. I mean, oh, all of beautiful. San Diego, the, the whole place is great. That's I love just it. Just a fun, fun town. You, you got any peeves? I got some peeves. Okay, I got peeves. one. You ever you ever do this? I I, I screwed. So I I forgot something. I said to someone, I was like, Ah, I'm an idiot. And then and she goes, No, you're not. And I was uh, like. I was like, yeah, I was kidding. Nah, but now well, I wasn't worried. like questioning my being. <laughs> but then it makes you wonder, now does she think I am? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah, she said it with the exact same tone that when a, a very large person goes, I feel fat in this. You're like, no. <laughs> yes, yes. You're not fat. <laughs> no. You're doing, you're doing great. Look at you. <laughs> right. Look at you. Like, they said it with the exact same tone. <laughs> Look at you. They're like, I am. I am. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the worst is when you try, you try to be nice and you're like, you're plump. <laughs> you're not fat. You're plump, and they're like, "Oh no, this is worse." Yeah, <laughs> plump. You, yeah, you yeah. just start going through uh, Gabriel Iglesias' levels. <laughs> yeah. You're you're husky, porky, fluffy, right? Like you're all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, "Oh, I feel hor- I feel worse now." Yes, yes. Uh, that's a good one. Some in there. Yeah. What else? You, it's like when guys... you do a joke in, in, in your act, and they go, "Aw," like, Ooh. "No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking." Yeah, yeah I hate the "aw." That's yeah. a that's a rough one. Not a fan laugh. of it. That, and it's like, "Hey, we're up here. We're doing okay." That and sometimes you get it all when you when you're playing a theater. You're like, look around. Yes, I'm doing okay. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Relax. The awe is weird because I, I I remember thinking about it. They do they usually do it because they care about you. Yeah. So sometimes it's a bit where you're just like, oh, it's that was b- too sad. I guess right. it wasn't right. funny enough. But. It's also usually an awe where you're like, no, but it was self-deprecating. I'm clearly okay with yeah, it. Yeah, I wrote I, it. I wrote it. Yeah, exactly. I made it happen. All right. Uh, all right, all right. I got a piece. Oh, you got one. Hit uh, me, baby. This, this is probably just for me, but uh, uh, I hate it when people call me big guy. I oh, hate that shit. Same. Interesting. Be the guy with, hey, what's up, big man? Like, I, I hate that. Like, like they're trying to fool me. Right. <laughs> yeah, because it, it feels sarcastic. Yeah, you know. I, I, although Stavros always calls me big dog, and then we were on a group thread with another friend of ours, and he mm. called him big dog, Ooh. and I was like, that's my fucking <laughs> <name."> <laughs> The hell do you do there? Ouch. Were you just thinking like, oh, that's just what he calls everyone where he doesn't know their name? No, I'm Big Dog. <laughs> I was supposed to be Big Dog, Stavros. Oh, that stings. It hurts. It's like when your wife gets you calling someone baby. You know? like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, Adam Ferrara calls me pal, and, and then I found out he calls everybody pal. Uh, I, 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 I kind of felt the same way of like, 
Oh, I thought I was special. Bobby yeah. Collins used to do because he didn't know anyone's name at the cellar. Bobby Co- Bobby Collins, by the way, could fucking hoop. This is what? an old school comic. What? Is that Dude, right? I swear to God, nineteen eighties Bobby pull, Collins. Pull up Bobby yeah, Collins. Yeah, this big we called smile. him Bobby Buckets. He he, he, he was a dirty player, <laughs> and he, he would Tommy never Vito's miss a jump manager, shot. Bobby Buckets. <laughs> this guy, Bobby He's Collins, in the Hall of Fame. classic. He doesn't miss a jump shot. He would pull on your short so you couldn't get. He was so fucking dirty. It was great. Wow. But he was hilarious. And at the cellar, he would always go, "Hey, you handsome," because yeah. he just. Didn't know anyone's name. Yeah, yeah. And they go the waitress. Hey, you gorgeous. Yeah, and, and that, and someone calls you handsome. You're not. Gorgeous. You're not going to be like bullshit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good point. Man, is that a Michael hey, Jackson hello, jacket? Caesar's Palace. Wow. Well, he is yeah. dripping with confidence. God. He was the search guy in the eighties. Is that right? He's he he bought a home with search so money in Manhattan. Manhattan. The smile. <laughs> Holy That's shit. That's what they say when you call them up. I called them up. They went continental. <laughs> Oh, this, is, this this bit's aging well. <laughs> Dude, I, I won't say the comic's name. I'll, I'll tell you guys off air. All right. I was at the improv in Hollywood one time, and I saw, like, a 1980s comic that's kind of like that sort of style. And uh, he was doing a bit where he was doing the accent and stuff like that. And you, and you just saw the audience just like, nope. Oh. And you saw the look on his face, and you saw the horror because he's like, Oh shit! It's passed me by, like it, I, it's gone. Like I can't do the thing. But also, I've you got to write a new bit yes! in thirty years. I mean, that's a, or forty years, whatever. But I remember, yes. like Buddy Hackett was the first one to do the Chinese voice sure. bit, and it was like groundbreaking at the time. It's killer. But then at a certain point. Yeah. yeah, it becomes not cool. Right, right. Right, right new bit. It's fine. Like uh we have uh uh we have Argus Hamilton at the co- at the comedy store and he writes new jokes every week. Like, with, Whoa. like, with, like when I've heard on that. the news. He's got it. And really? He comes, Good for like, him. He's almost eighty years old and he still goes up, writes new shit. It's I great. love that. He was plowing Mitzi for a while. He was. And yeah. uh, wait, wait, play play a little of this. Is this the buddy? One ton, that's a one one ton, one egg drop. One more egg drop, two egg drop, one more turn. What's that? This sounds no, like the record stopping. <laughs> one two egg, egg drop. What? No, we don't have a split pea. No, we didn't have it yesterday, and we don't oh, have it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Ne- but yeah, you listen to some of these old records, though, and even like Rickles. Will be, it's funny when a guy's doing crowd work on record because you can't see. He's like, look yeah. at this Oriental fella. And you're like, I can't. <laughs> it must have also been so nice to be a comic back in the 40s and 50s because oh. everything was new. You're like, that Chinese guy sounds funny. <laughs> oh, this, this, is big, this is good bit. stuff. No one's no done one- this yet. Wait. Dogs and cats are different? Hold on, let me write the, that down. I, the Irish drink? Like, yeah. It's just like you could just do that shit. Anything. Completely revolutionary. Totally. It's, it, it, it's why, like, if you listen to old prior records, it sounds hacky now, but then you realize, like, oh, he was the first one to do that. Totally. And then every other comic after that was just doing a version of prior. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sorry, I got one more peeve. How All about right, this one? Away. The guy who tells you how you're going to feel about something before he tells you the thing. So he goes, uh, mm. oh, dude. I got a story. You're gonna find this interesting. So, uh, <laughs> so I was at the uh, the mall the other day, and a guy fell asleep or whatever. And I'm like, well, I, I don't think that's that interesting. You can't yeah. tell me, yeah. you know, oh, oh, you're gonna love this. It's because so, he needs a running start because he's so used to people tuning in. That's out. what it is. That's exactly <laughs> that's right. That's what it is. He thinks it's he's the same person who does you. this. Hey. Hey, I got oh, a bit for you. Hit, I got hit. something. They're trying to keep you listening. They, they're they used to people ignoring them. And I want to ignore, but he got me. He reeled me in because I feel bad now. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, this guy's actually kind of boring. So I got to overcompensate and really pretend to care. Along those same lines, uh, as a comic, uh, if you meet people after the show, they start they start talking. And you're like, oh, you're going to love this. You can use this in then your Then they rap. shoot oh, you in the face. You, yeah. you can use this. And you're yes. just like, no, yes. gar- I guarantee you I won't. And yeah. 98% of the time, you're going to tell me a street joke. Yep, that yep. Just been told a million times before. It's not my bit. No. Or the guy who, who slips on the sidewalk and he goes, "Oh man, I'm giving you material," and you're like, "Well, how would that go?" All right. So uh, I was outside the other day and a guy slipped. Oh, dude! I had a guy come up to me after the show Killer. once. He goes, "He goes, oh, you, you could use this in your act." I got a I got a blowjob in the car the other day. Older guy, and I was like. What, what, how am I going to write it? Oh, so this guy I met after a show got roadhead, and yeah. uh, they're like, "Why? Why are you telling how us this?" this? I don't like that. That's how kind of that's where the narcissism bleeds in because they're like, "What? What happened to me?" It, it's funny. Right. It's real good. You're gonna love this shit. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it's it, it's that thing where it's like you you just saw me do my job for an hour, 
hopefully well. Yeah. And then at, at the end of me killing, you, you sort of like, I can help him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. I can point. help him with no, with no experience whatsoever. Yeah, because the hard, the hard part of comedy is having an idea and then the turn. Yeah. The turn is the hard part. That's where the skill comes in. But they just want to give you the slipping guy on the sidewalk or the roadhead, and then you come up with the turn, and they go, you're welcome. And you're like, no, no, not you're welcome. I had to do the hard part. It is, uh, yeah, it is weird when they do that, but I think they're, they, a lot of these people don't have people who are honest with them in their life. Because, mm. you know, like, we have to, they have to be honest with us. Yeah. Or, you know, or they're, they're not going to fake laugh to a ticket they paid for. Right, right, right. So we have to kill hard enough that it, you know, yes. warranted the ticket, mm -hmm. the ticket price, the two drinks, whatever. But a lot of people are just like, their friends are like, oh, yeah, that's funny. They're, yeah. they're your friend. Yeah. That's why your friends, when you start, are like, you should do comedy. And you're like, yeah, I should, right? A lot of people, your friends push you into it, and then you fucking eat shit. <laughs> yeah. Because these people aren't your friends, and they don't give a shit. But I also think that's why, and maybe I'm being uh, too philosophical bullshitty here, mm -hmm. but I think that's why comedy so popular because it can't work if it's not good if it doesn't if it's not good it won't work like if you tell a joke and they don't laugh mm -hmm. that's it there's no softening it of you know like hey let's be nice we got to be positive we got to be compassionate it's just joke work laugh or not that's it same with sports or fighting yeah you know it's just if you, if you fight the guy and you beat him up you win very simple. Mm -hmm. There's no yeah. like, eh, well, it's a, it's a little person, so let's be extra nice, and let's we have to a be participation trophy. Yeah, <laughs> we have to be diverse and whatever. It's just quality versus no quality. Uh, I would, t I would totally watch a dwarf fight league. Oh hell yeah, absolutely. Do you? I have a question though about I, that. Hell, I you, participate. You, <laughs> yeah. I want my revenge. I'm gonna do, do some push-ups. Do you? Uh, do you think like dwarfs are not taken into account for diversity? Not at all. Not, no, we're not. Don't I mean that's kind of fucked up, right? Yeah. I think I know why. Why is that? Well, a you got no no group against you. You got a group against you. Right. Women. A lot of people hate women. Yeah. Especially Pam. And then <laughs> uh, you know black have clan. Yeah. You know there's group. You got everybody loves a little person. Yeah, there's no, like, anti-dwarf league. Yeah, well, I mean, we should start one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the most you have is the roller coaster business, who says you got to be this tall, I guess. Yeah, there, there, yeah there, there's no, like, group of people that are going outside of dwarf homes burning lowercase t's. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Women on dating apps. <laughs> Nothing below six feet. That is true. I mean, I'm not on the dating apps anymore. I'm married, but I've, I've, I've seen a lot of... Uh, women that go like if you're if you're under six foot tall fucking keep on oh walking. yeah keep swiping you're like keep, put anything else on under anything that. anything else I know <laughs> if, 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 if if you pray to a god that's not Vishnu <laughs> fuck right the hell off <laughs> I'm with you I'm five ten so I was like what the fuck you know yeah. and then every guy's got the hack joke like I can't put four hundred pounds no no fatties or whatever but it is a little harsh. Yeah. So yeah. So so we we get it in the dating world. I I don't say this too often, but thank God I'm married. I'm done. Yeah. How did you meet your wife? Uh, <laughs> on a uh, on an app called uh, you you look up this app. Uh, it's called Field. I've uh, heard of Field. <laughs> Field is basically Tinder, but for people trying to have threesomes. Hell yeah! Wow. Yeah. That's how that's how it matter. <laughs> wow. Wait, yeah. is that? I think it's more than just threesomes. Is yeah, it not? it's like. You can. It's for Orgies, alternative swinging. lifestyle, whatever. And do, are you guys still into that, or was that just how you met? Uh, that's how we met. Uh, the whole thing is like that's how we met too. I was third. <laughs> <laughs> like I matched with two women, and we were all gonna go out together, and then one, and then one of the women didn't show up, and then I I, I went on a date with just the other woman. And oh then, my god! And ended up marrying her because when you find a hot Asian that likes three ways. Lock it down. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Lock that down. It's still looking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how yeah, that's how I met her. And uh it, it it's tough to do that now with the kid. Like it's tough to like now it's like there's <laughs> one more schedule that we gotta figure out. Yeah. And so yeah. we don't really do the that kind of thing anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> sure, sure. But hey, you had a good run. I had a great run. You know, throw throw my jersey in the rafters. It was a lot it was a lot of fun. Now, do you feel like you got to really bring the heat? Because you're 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 representing all the littles. Oh yeah! When I fuck, I'm fucking on behalf of a people. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, like whenever I was with someone new, it's like whatever I do, that's what they assume. Like, oh, that's what all of his people do. Sure. So it's like that's a lot of pressure. Sometimes I would do random things, like because uh, I knew it would give him a story. 
<laughs> like just pop up and give her like a macho man elbow drop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like climb the bedpost and yell out from the top row. <laughs> she's like, ah, oh, that's what dwarves do. They, right. climb, they, they, they climb the bedpost, step into a slim gym, yell out, ooh, yeah, and drop the hammer. <laughs> it must be hard to do all that in a tree. <laughs> but I assume that's where you live. Well, that does make but. sense. Is that you got you represent your people. Like I feel that way as a Jew when I leave a tip. Oh, I gotta bring the heat yeah. on a tip. I can't be. So you're you going know. straight twenty five percent. So I'm gonna go more. It depends. Really, six, six million dollars. Six yeah. million. Yeah. Wow, you, had very, you had a very good year last year. <laughs> Never no. forget the tip. It's a Holocaust uh. joke. But uh, <laughs> no, I was trying to tag it. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I preach it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make that movie, goddamn it. I feel like. Well, I think the stereotype as a guy. You ever wait tables? No, I was catered, but never waited tables. Oh, okay. I waited oh. tables for yeah. 10 years. Yeah. Okay. I think the black no tipping is a bigger stereotype than the Jew no tipping. Is it? Oh, really? yeah. And I had black waiter friends who were like, I don't want that table. Really? That's straight up. Yeah. So that was a tough spot. Oh. See, yeah. I was never a waiter. I got offered several times to have a plate of nachos on my head. Uh, <laughs> I wish that was a joke. Uh, <laughs> it was a Mexican restaurant that was like, I got a great idea. Yeah, I, 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 we're, we're gonna put a plate of nachos on your head. You walk around the restaurant, and then people just take chips and take nachos. It'll be free, but it'll be something that we can be known for. And I'm yeah. like. Great. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun for me. But no, you'll get tips. I'm like, I'm good. I'm, I'm fantastic. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a fun game. Can you, can you imagine, like, and it's but to that your point earlier about there's no group that's, like, anti-little person. Like, can you, can, can you imagine if you're like, ah, oh, we found a guy in a wheelchair. We're going to put a plate of nachos on his lap. We'll call it Meals on Wheels. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> like, it doesn't, no one does that with other disabilities. That's true. Like, oh, you're a fucking blind guy. We'll give you a plate of nachos. You walk around, and then wherever you drop them, that's who gets the nachos. <laughs> right, right. It's That's how Hawking served food on Epstein <laughs> Island. <laughs> Grapes. I, I want to know, you you saw that thing, If if like that his fetish was like Midgets. dwarves solving impossible math problems on what? on on high chalkboards no short will hunting <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah look this up like yeah. i don't know i want this to be real so bad okay. it's like stephen hawking uh midget solving math problems what? or something this like, he, he called them short equations <laughs> <laughs> this is going to fuck up your google yeah <laughs> definitely not long division the, the, hey. uh, the Epstein doc showed Stephen Hawking liked dot 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 click on the article uh, watching naked midgets solve math problems whoa <laughs> they said he liked to watch because that's all he could do <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was fact checked it says no it's not true oh, oh, we all hoped it was I wanted that wow what a specific fetish I know <laughs> I did hear he liked the littles though did I mean, he? I heard sure. you like little people. What a what an insane life! I know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you're you're one of the smartest men in the world. You 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 you're in a wheelchair and you can't move, and and you have an insatiable sexual appetite. Like the yeah. man, like the man lived. He <laughs> lived. Yeah, he cheated on his wife. I mean, the guy was stepping out or rolling out or whatever <laughs> all the time. I mean, the guy was a poon hound. He knew what he wanted. Yeah. yeah. That, that, my 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 thing. Whenever I see a crazy fetish, is just like. How did you find out that was your fetish? Pre-internet. Yeah. Like, I don't care if you have a weird fetish as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. Everyone's a consenting adult. Great. But, like, how do you find out that's your fetish? Like, what was the process of elimination where you're, like, those, like, those, like, Wall Street guys that, like, like their balls stepped on yeah. in high heels? You're like, how, how'd you get there? I know. What's yeah, that's that that's not something that can happen accidentally. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Usually it's something like you know the first time a woman like licks your ass or something you're like holy shit that was cool. Right. <laughs> you know, but that's like a that's like a choice. The stepping on the balls is yeah. like yeah. Because like because like what woman takes that chance? Arlo. May, although <laughs> maybe you're in a fight with your with your girl uh, and she goes fuck you like just kicks you in the nuts you're like wait I'm hard whoa <laughs> whoa yeah do it again we're in a fight well the beauty of the internet is now you can find like minded ball kick people yeah. you know yeah. like oh this guy likes his balls stepped on too we have a club yeah it yeah. works for them it works for the Taliban too you know <laughs> gotta take the go with the bad yeah it, yeah it, it's the best time ever to have a weird kink cause yeah. like yeah. back in the day you had to date someone and just be like like, 
Hey, so I like this thing. Are you into it? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Your eyebrows turned into Jack Nicholson for that one right there. <laughs> hey. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> I like I like watching black guys play hoop while we bang. <laughs> <laughs> if you read that book, The Big Goodbye, every like he would fight with Polanski because he wanted to uh he was watching the Lakers playoffs on the set of Chinatown and and he was like, We're shooting the set. He's like, Fuck you, it's o- double overtime. Really? Whoa. Dedicated fan. Yeah, hardcore. Yeah. You gotta respect that. And and Polanski raped that girl in uh Jack Nicholson's hot tub, right? Uh, Is that the yeah. story? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, Angelica Houston caught him. Whoa! Yeah. I don't feel like that gets talked about enough. <laughs> well, it was from the um, 70s. Underage girl. Yeah. 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 15 or something. Why, bad. why'd you say that like, underage girl, not that bad? Like, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Like, why was that I, your I tone? I said, rape that girl, and, I, and you were like, no one talks about that. I was adding information. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Also yeah. underage. Yeah. Sounds more like it was a disclaimer, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> but, and it was anal, I believe. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh-huh. <laughs> also anal. Yes. The way you said, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he just got a, a question right in a class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed, it was. Indeed, it was. Good job. Mark, you've been doing your homework. Thank you. you know, I got a brown star. Fun fact about that. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact about that movie. Uh, oh. Chinatown. Nicholson's having sex with Angelica Houston, acting mm-hmm. with his hero, John Houston. And there's a line in the movie where he says to Jack Nicholson, are you fucking my daughter? About and the character. John Houston he's, didn't know yet. He didn't know he's actually fucking his actual daughter. Whoa. Wow. So well, then when it came out, Jack would be like, I'm meta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just did it for the method. Yeah. I'm like right. I'm like Lawrence of Olivier. Like, yeah. it's fine. I just get really into that role. <laughs> I'm meta. And I'm meta on field. <laughs> wow. Angelica, that's, a, that's a hot cup. I mean, they're they're both conventionally not attractive traditionally but there's something sexy about both of them Houston and Nicholson but I'm saying she's not traditionally attractive she's not like a Heidi Klum or something but she's still sexy yeah I take it back she's pretty hot yeah she is hot Every Nicholson story, all, almost every, the one about Polanski, I'm not a huge fan of, but like almost every Nicholson story, I'm just like, fuck, that guy was cool. Even in that book, wow. you come away thinking he's a pretty good dude. I mean, like, yeah, it's tough. It's when it happens to your friend. I guess he's he stood by him for the most part. But like, what are you gonna do? It's uh, tough. It's uh, also I, pretty I, crazy to fuck your hero's daughter. Hey, Cassie <laughs> David, hit me up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? <laughs> no, I'm just like I'm, I. Other than other than standing by, yeah. you know him, he comes off as like. And, but also, it's like it's complicated when it's your friend. But he he comes off like great to the crews, great mm-hmm. to like. Oh like, yeah, comes off as a great dude for the yeah, most part. Yeah, the story I heard about him was he was at a nightclub one time, and uh, of course he had his sunglasses on indoors, and a lady comes up and goes, "Hey Jack, want to dance?" And he just looks at her, and goes, "Wrong verb." <laughs> I'm like, damn, damn. That is that that that's a classy way to turn someone down. You ever see that photo of him? Uh, some guy's like, I want to photograph you, Jack. He was like this famous photographer, and Jack's like, all right, I don't know, I'm busy, I don't care, I don't need a photo of me. And the guy's like, please, please. He's like, all right, I'll give you like two minutes. And he met up with the guy. The guy took one photo, and Jack Nelson left in a convertible. And they show the photo, and his nostrils are just covered in white. Right here. Oh, if you can find the pic, uh, it's pretty great. It's just like the story of how Matt photographed the fat Jew. <laughs> I'll give you two minutes. Gets butt naked. Yeah. Buffalo just, Bills is balls. It was just matzah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can find that pic, but it's it's a classic. You know it's a great Nicholson movie? Have you ever seen The Last Detail? Oh, classic. That's yeah. a fucking cool oh, movie. Great uh, movie. I, I think it's one. Hal Ashby. All Robert right. Town wrote it. Oh, yeah? It's fucking great. Town is, is always good. Yeah. Recommendation from Sam. All right, a, I might have wrecked on the pop before. It's one of my. I love that movie, and I love. I mean, I love. There's just too many photos of Jack doing yeah. coke. That's the. That's problem. true. <laughs> Peter Sellers. What's the Peter Sellers Hal Ashby? Oh, that's the one you love. Uh, the, What's that uh, called? Not the longer by the. Um, oh, being there. Being there. Being, being there. there. There you go. Good flick. So I hope this about Sam. Last oh, time. it's like an an old school. It's a guy who gets basically. I think it was court martialed, and he, it's Randy Quaid, and he oh. he stole money, and they kind of have to. It's like his last night. It's great. He's like a soul, uh, sailor. Yeah, yeah. Randy yeah. Quaid and Jack Nicholson. How about we get them together and uh, have him do a podcast <laughs> about the movie currently? <laughs> <laughs> is he still working, Jack, or is he kind of done? No, yet? I think uh, he's retired. Yeah, he's in he's his eighties, but he showed up at a Laker game last hey. year in the playoffs. That was like cool to see him. 
Oh, uh, so uh, I got a really cool Laker experience. All last right, week. Uh, pull it up. I went to. I, I, I was just going out to buy some booze at to- Total Wine, and I'm just walking around, and there in that Total Wine, Jeannie Bus. And Whoa. she's doing she she's doing a signing for her tequila. She's got a tequila out, and uh, so I walk over and she sees me and goes, "I follow you on Instagram and you're friends with my husband." And I go, hey. "Yes, I am, Jay Moore." Jay Moore. So then we talk for a little while, and then she goes, "Yeah, if you ever want tickets, let me know." And I'm like, "The, the owner of the Lakers, <laughs> okay?" And yeah, there's me and Jeannie. And, wow. Uh, uh, she looks great. Yeah. yeah. She, she she gave me tickets. I went to the game last week. Uh, Good seats. You got the golden yeah. ticket. <laughs> Lakers Suns. It was a great game. Wow. Did, did Durant play? Yeah, Durant played. And Booker? Saw Booker played. Nice. Uh, she gave me. They won, the Suns won that one, right? Suns won that one by yeah. a lot. It, yeah, destroyed them. But, uh, Lakers are slipping right now. Now, how yeah. did Jay Moore? I mean, look, Jay Moore is a charming guy. Yeah, He's a funny, funny guy. He's got a great you know resume but how did he pull that i mean she 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 has dated a comedian in the past she used oh, to date uh, craig, I didn't know uh craig shoemaker what the love master yeah baby wow <laughs> <laughs> good for shoe i guess she's got a thing for the the she's humorous got, she got a thing for the funny guys she's got we a need funny more people like genie bus in the world really rich heiresses that love comedians yes <laughs> here here who are aging very well who are aging yeah, very well that doesn't hurt yeah i i think i, I think i think that's a and who love basketball woman. come on i know it's kind of the right combo triple right? threat yeah because so I, she seems family. like a cool person she is she's she's re- she's really sweet really nice uh uh we we took my daughter to the game she's four uh, we had the headphones on her, but she just had a blast. She had a great time. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that, 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 that was very cool. And uh, Jay and Jeannie came by. They said hi. Wow. Like, it was just like, are you are you Lakers? Is that your team? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're Knicks, right? obviously. Yes. Easy, you two. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It's, I know. I'm he just... doesn't win. Ah! <laughs> so it's, so it's fine. <laughs> the Lakers Man. will not win for a very long time. <laughs> Hey, we LeBron got is 39 years old. Hey, pick on someone your own side. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, AD is great though. Yeah, gotta, so that look. that was a really cool experience, and it's just it, it just kind of goes to show you, funny will get you a lot of places. Here, here, like it'll yeah. people like having funny people around. Thank God for that. I know. Like very rarely are people. Are, are people just sitting around going, you know what we need more of in this room? Some systems analysts. <laughs> <laughs> but you know who could use a comic or two is fucking Hamas or Al-Qaeda. Like, <laughs> let's go to the book us. What, you guys are you need looking for tickets? <laughs> <laughs> well, not airline, but hey, uh, just, you know, they could use a chuckle. Do they have comics over there? I mean, are they pulling up TikTok and watching Matt Rife or anything? Like, how's that Something. work? Something. I don't know. Like, okay, so <laughs> if they started having like a live golf, like, for comics, yes. would you guys do it? Like, I would do it. Just I mean, like, like a Saudi deal or yeah, something? Yeah, just like a Saudi deal where it's like 30 million, you do oh. two shows or something. I've, I've done worse crowds. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You've been to Tommy T's? I think I'd rather perform for ISIS than, uh, than that group. That'd be great, though. So comic goes over there, they're in a, like a Britney Griner situation where like we told him not to go. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we gotta bring Norman back. <laughs> you got you, you got the president at that point. Like, don't worry, I'm gonna get Norman back. Yeah, yeah. If it's Trump and you've made a joke about him, you ain't coming back. Ooh, Man. true. Huh? I watched his special. Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan of Mark Norman. Sam, very good points. <laughs> very good points. I like what he says. Who would oh. they trade for the comic? Is the question? Oh, they got it's the gonna be like an death. arms dealer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is the most rampant pedophile in the history of Saudi Arabia. Well, the arms dealer, unlike Mark, is killed. So, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm saying they need a comic. Yeah. Uh, uh, we've done corporate gigs. We've done the hell gigs. We're ready. Put me in a bulletproof vest. And <laughs> they give you notes before. Don't make fun of that guy. He will kill you. <laughs> well, we both have Jew jokes that would yeah. kill over there. I mean, sometimes. you have a mind because I am Jewish. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They're like, All those right. are hilarious. I'm like, I'm like, don't tell me you are a Jew. Yeah. yeah. Just, let them... Just go, I'm Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, that's the beauty of you. You can, you're casting, oh, you're castable. You could go either way, you know? <laughs> Terror, Jew, Italian. Castable sounded pretty racist in those uh, in that context. I'm trying to lighten it up. You, know, you, you, you look, yeah, you look like Snow White in one of the magical seventeen. Yeah, you, uh, you're you ethnic. Could work even though you're a Jew. Yeah. 
<laughs> By the way, Jews in show business. We do all right, actually. I'm doing great. Yeah, are, yeah. are there Jews in show business? Uh, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is weird when you have guys like John Stewart or Jeff Ross who have Jewish names and have changed their names to yeah, sound less Jewish. Yeah, yeah Coonan. Yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. Leibowitz. We know you real shit. Come on, <laughs> but you got Natalie Portman. You got Scarlett Johansson. You got uh, the other Paul Rudd. Yeah. Some good looking Jews out there. Yeah, they are. You found the four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only heard three, so I'll, uh, well, I'll, I'll assume I'm the fourth. I'll Thank throw you. you in. <laughs> so, you guys working on any bitch? Shia LaBeouf? I, I'm fucking bone dry. Did I try the, the dog poop one? No. Yes, you did. I did. Oh, oh, you did? did? I might be Fuck. bone dry because I was honing shit all weekend. Hold on, I made but some But if notes. you got something. Oh, uh, hit this, baby. Okay. Uh, premises. Oh, okay. This one. I got this uh, A. I put it out on Facebook like, you know, it, it it stinks. Like someone could call me a midget and I'm supposed to be upset by it. Mm. But there aren't really like slurs for tall people. Oh, and yeah. I'm definitely going to I'm, I'm going to steal this. I just don't know how. One of my Facebook fans wrote, I thought of one. You should call tall people biggers. Oh, that's great. I heard that. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's so funny. That's great. But now I don't know how to work that into a bit and certainly I'm worried if I ever fuck up the joke <laughs> <laughs> well that's a good line right there you can throw in yeah I'm worried I'll fuck this up but yeah. also you got the big uh that's a friend mm, yeah. like Sam's a big uh you know because <laughs> you guys are buddies so yeah. um then you got the the, the bigger please yeah uh, okay. okay biggers with attitude you know <laughs> but it's one thing you like the difference is it's like we like being called it that's the difference right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone you wouldn't also, hate. you could throw in your big guy peeve here Ooh. because now you can call him tiny or something. Like, throw it back at him. Yeah. I don't tiny, know. Tiny, funny, big dick. You know, you know complete <laughs> opposites. Right, right. <laughs> True. Okay, you got me there. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's a bit like, I want to write it. I think it's funny, but at the same time, I do know that I also don't want to do a version of that joke. And then, do, do you guys ever get like, the wrong kind of laugh. Oh yeah, totally. Like you, you tell a joke and you're like, ah, oh, that's not how I wanted that to be interpreted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Bill Burr's like, I'm not starting a rally here. Take yeah. it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to do anything like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think you're okay. I think you're okay. Bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I can work in some of those. Bigger's uh, that. What, what else is the N word in it? <laughs> <laughs> You think, you, you, you think you'd have that as a note on your phone. <laughs> well, also I think maybe, the only thing is big people, have, and then maybe the term is big people have never been like really held down, though. That's true. Except for on flights. Uh -huh. That's the only time. That's yes. where I win. That's yes. where you win. Ha -ha. True. Uh, Bigger. What's the other one? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, all right. Here, here's something I realized. Like, okay. So uh, uh, my wife gets mad sometimes when when I go out and I'm doing my job I'm I'm working and I realize that she doesn't like it because when I go to work I'm having fun like my work yeah. is fun like like no wife gets mad like you're going to those coal mines again like right. like, like, like like no like so she's mad because it's fun fun men, without her yeah fun without her yeah men don't get mad when the woman goes out and has fun without them. We're we're, so we're true. thrilled. We're yes. th we're thankful. It's like if you were dating uh. <laughs> stripper isn't the right thing, <laughs> but it's something about like their job is like maybe they're but they're probably miserable though. Yeah, doing that. they probably mm. don't like doing that. Yeah, it's true. You need to find something that they like. Mm -hmm. But you're right. We want them to have fun. But when a, when my wife texts me, I'm like I'm dying out here in Cleveland. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like guzzling Patron. You know. <laughs> oh, Gary used to have a joke about like it. Like he's like, look, it, it's tough. The road's tough. She's like, you were at a strip club. He's like, I go where the work takes me. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's that. But then men have it to where we get mad if something else makes our ladies have an orgasm. Like mm. it, like if they use the dildo or if, they use, oh, or if they're right. using a vibrator yeah. or, God forbid, another man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then that, 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 that like, so, something else gives her the orgasm. That's our version of, like, getting mad when you're happy. Right. Interesting. So it's like they get mad at us when Man, we're... You could simply yeah. just say it gives them pleasure. <laughs> that way it's like, because I'm getting pleasure from my work. Yeah. And you're getting pleasure from... Uh, Raul. Raul. <laughs> Yeah, from maybe. a guy from a TV show, you could just say or something. John Hamm. Yeah. And you could make it a guy who's like coming over to. You're at work. You're out yeah. on the road, and like some guy comes over to like fix the chimney or something. Yeah. And then she's like, 
I was thinking about Raul. I got off. Ah, no one <laughs> would say that. Oh, she could, it could be funny too if you're like, man, I was uh, doing a theater in San Diego. It was terrible. She goes, tell me about it. Raul came over. Oh, that guy's the worst. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, you're she's doing like, it now. You're both fucking lying. Yeah, you're oh, both lying. He 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 was having a drink shirtless in the backyard yes. it was a hot day right. he, 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 he just kept throwing ice on his nipples for some reason <laughs> when's uh, he gonna learn it's it was just, horrible yeah. And yeah. I'm sitting there like yeah and I was in San Diego I slept till one <laughs> it was, I had a craft beer at three right was, right did two shows and had thousands of people cheering for me it was it was, it was, it was awful yeah yeah it just and, gets old yeah <laughs> right and then she's doing it with Raul I think that's pretty good that's a pretty good back and forth mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I I, I like the Raul. That and Ra- Raul's just a good joke name. Like, yeah. Like, there's some names that are f- funnier than others. Carl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, if you said Matt, Matt for some reason is not funny. Not funny. Mm-hmm. Gary is a funny name. Gary's, Gary's funny. funny. Gary in some names. Yeah. I can't tell you why. Jokes. I, I, I can't tell you what the science is, but you go, Raul, Carl. It's yeah. Just, it's just funny for some reason. Well, Patrice had that great line where he said, uh, I'm a comedy genius because he says, uh, Something, something, N-word in a Buick. He's like, a black guy in a car isn't funny, but saying N-word in a Buick is hilarious. It would get a laugh because it's the specific. Right. Same with DePaulo had a bit about a, 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 I can't fall asleep at home. You know, you see a homeless guy in the sleep. On the, I fucked that joke. On up the already. street. You see a homeless guy sleeping on the street. He's just passed out sleeping, best sleep of his life. I got a $800, you know, <laughs> a, pa- a mattress, mattress at, at home. home. Mm. This guy's sleeping on a Heineken. <laughs> Heineken. <laughs> Heineken is just funnier than beer bottle. Yes, yeah. yes. Specific. Specific. And, that's, yeah. and that's better than Stella for some yes, weird reason. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because Stella's kind of a nice beer, maybe. I don't yeah. know who knows. There's a magic to it. That's why comedy's great. Hey, is funny. Yeah. Kind of kin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true. Unless there are three of them in a row. Then <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Easy, bigger. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Come on. Maybe someone bigger, like only he can say bigger. Yeah. You know, something with that. I, I don't know. I can figure out that joke. It's going to, that. That one's gonna be one where I only do it with uh, when uh, people have their phones locked up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true, true. I have to figure that out before <laughs> any footage gets out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is this stupid? This is when I was working out. So okay. So I was talking about my friend. He's a black guy, mm-hmm. and um, some guy was like, "Well, that's racist," and I was like, "But I actually have a bunch of black friends." And then he mm-hmm. rolled his eyes, and I'm like, "Well, that's kind of weird because that adds actually a decent defense." You have a bunch of black friends. Isn't that a pretty... I know that's like a cliche, but it's like a good Mm. defense on not being racist, having a bunch of black friends. Like, look, Mm. hey, Thomas Jefferson, he had plenty of black... (laughs) (laughs) You get it? You set it up, and then the point is he was a slave owner. He had plenty of black people around the house. So you're kind of (laughs) pulling it back on yourself. Is that stupid? No, I like All the right. premise, though. I like the setup. Um, it's actually a good proof of having black or not being racist is having a bunch of black friends. Yeah, I, I think the keyword is a bunch. It, it, it <laughs> It's when you say, I have one black friend. Oh. That's when it's like, Yeah, ooh, it's the people who get you say, I have a black friend. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So a bunch is key. Because if you're like, no, it's not racist. I have a black friend. Right. And you're like, oh, that's bad. But 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 when you say I have black friends, yes. that's like a more of a justifiable. Okay. That helps. Mm-hmm. Because the one, yeah, the one is, is yeah. suspect. Yeah. That sounds like you're paying them to be your friend. Right. That's right. Like, and, have you tried this? I have plenty of, I have one black hooker. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I tried the Thomas Jefferson thing last night and it hit, but yeah. I also really built the tension. And so when I twisted it they were it, it hit so i don't know if it was because i built the tension and it's a racial joke so they're already like Ugh. they just want the the release yeah, yeah so i need to really get the wording right because oh. you know racial jokes are yeah uh, that tough that's some of the most fun when, when you have the crowd so tense and they're like oh my god this is like we're you're on the edge right yes now. And then, yes and then you hit him with the release and they're like oh thank god then you yeah. just hit him with that bigger <laughs> and uh <laughs> It's a bigger punchline, you know. What yeah, I, mean? I don't know if I have. I I was doing just fucking honing all over the weekend, so I don't. Honing know is I, good. You got a special tape coming up. You got a. I know, buddy. Another one. Look at you. I Sorry. won't stop. Damn animal. <laughs> well done, sir. Is this stupid too? I, I was at a. I was in a bar in Mexico with my wife, and she got on the mechanical bull as a goof, mm. and I think she got kind of turned off, and then it threw her threw her away, and she was like. That was kind of hot, and I thought a line could be, well, now you know how it feels to get turned on and then finish in eight seconds. <laughs> you get it? Because she got, she, she, you know. Yeah, she that's got, funny. Oh, I, I, I was thinking funny. that the bull, like, 
threw her off and like bruised her and then you got turned on oh no i was just saying like she only lasted eight seconds yeah yeah and exactly. i think you should even add turned on and then yeah thrown off and then uh and then you're like except the only difference is you didn't have to apologize <laughs> oh yeah that's good there you go. all yeah, right like that that's a good line yeah and, and the whole bar laughed and then, yeah <laughs> and then you didn't have to awkwardly run to the bathroom for a towel <laughs> yeah that's yeah. true yeah you didn't have to do that <laughs> you didn't have to apologize and uh and the bull didn't call you a little slut <laughs> right and at the end of the day i paid for everything <laughs> The waiter didn't come over and choke you right yeah. after you fell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think there's something here. I got That's a couple. Like a I have one idea. This is something about yeah. like, you ever have like a memory where you're like, fuck, that, like a low point for you can be a high point for someone else? I yes. only have low points. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was, funny. you know, when I was a kid, I, you know, uh, I was in a movie theater bathroom. I just had like a ton. I was lactose intolerant. I would just eat a ton of pizza. I would like wouldn't accept it. <laughs> so I, uh, I was just, you know, horrible diarrhea in a Times Square movie bathroom water coming out of my anus oh yeah mm -hmm. and i could see through the uh through crack. the whole through the crack there was a uh as the worst of it came out of me a, a black father and son <laughs> the, the father goes that boy has got the shits <laughs> and they just high-fived uh, oh, hey. and it's like it's like weird that an awful <laughs> moment for you can be like a high point for someone else that's well, yeah, true well, that's like everyone in a youtube like anyone in a fight video they're getting knocked out and then everyone just comment like liking it and like be like, oh, did you see this motherfucker get knocked out? You're like, yeah, I was concussed. <laughs> like, yeah, God, yeah. It's the worst day of my life. And right. Everyone's like showing their friends. It brought right. them joy. Yeah, yeah. Or or any porn star. Ah, <laughs> that's a great analogy. Yeah, that's any great. porn star. That's far as a funny angle. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, she had to fuck Mandingo, and that's a bad day for her. And then yeah. you're sitting there like, all right, <laughs> like this is great. It's like, no, it's the worst day of my life. Yeah, that's a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> and then thousands of boys all over the country are like, this is my thing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like didn't do that last week, kick. did I? No, you're not. I think right. you might have. Oh really? Yeah. Well, oh fuck oh, me. Maybe when I left. We'll play with that. God damn it. Is there anything else I have? I have a few others. Uh, I think I might we might have. Dude, we were on fucking fumes last week. Okay. I got one more. Now, I did this twice last night for the first time on stage. All right. Uh, it's a joke that my wife has actually banned me from doing. But Whoa. So, you know, it means I have to do it. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, you're paying the bills. Yeah, why not? So, the joke is essentially my daughter is Asian- and a dwarf so i can't lose as a dad because if i'm the best father ever she changes the world she invents something she shatters glass ceilings she inspires others she makes the she makes human existence better yeah and if i'm the worst father ever of an asian dwarf we get the greatest porn star of all time. <laughs> <laughs> she has told me I am not allowed to say that joke. That's not bad. I think yeah, it's fun. I think it's good. It got some laughs last night, and yeah. then there was also some people that are just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> they yell out I would play with the reaction, too. I think there's some, something funny to play with the crowd on that mm -hmm. joke. Yeah. So, so, cause like they're, cause like they're getting upset. I'm like, no, that's if I'm the best dad, like if I'm the worst dad ever, I'm not planning on that. Yes. Yes. I'm not planning on being the worst father ever. Yeah. But then I also searched and found out there's a dwarf woman on OnlyFans that made like $24 million last year. Whoa. Like an insane amount of money. So I'm, I see that and I'm like, I'm going to start missing some recitals. <laughs> <laughs> <Like> this is. <laughs> that's a good line. Yeah, uh, the this... top the top midget only fans account. Oh, this is a multiple. Are we not supposed to say midget anymore or not? You're, You're... not supposed to. I don't. I think mm, I have a village voice. <laughs> oh wow, those don't look like little people though. Yeah. They really don't. No. What the hell? Yeah, there, there's uh, there's one dwarf account, and she was on some podcast, and it popped up on my algorithm because they're like. You're a dwarf and you like porn. You, <laughs> <laughs> you, you would like this. And uh, yeah, she made like twenty four million. Oh, here we go. Yeah, she's all right. Look at that. Yeah. Well, the the it's good for pedophiles because <laughs> they're fucking they're looking at midget porn, but it's still legal. Yeah, but it only works if you look at it from behind. <laughs> That's true. The face the face is a giveaway. The yeah. Face looks <laughs> you can look at the genitals only. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. <laughs> now, so is, is that, this... that going to be a sting operation, Mark? <laughs> yeah, it's a Just good a idea. Just a little person, then they turned around, and the guy's like, damn it. Yeah, there's pubic hair. <laughs> Why weren't there more little people on To Catch a Predator? That would have been a great bait and switch. Great oh, bait and switch. What they... Chris Hansen. <laughs> oh, you thought, it was a li- you thought it was a little kid, did you? No. Well, you thought wrong. Turns out, 32. <laughs> <laughs> but the hands were so tiny. Yeah. yeah, but if you look, there's hair on them. Uh. <laughs> it's good. So, yeah, they, I... I, I I saw that and I'm like, okay, so we'll eat. so even if I'm the worst dad ever, ah, eh, she'll be okay. Yeah, no, that's funny. <laughs> Is that's your wife funny. actually concerned? Is there about me being the worst dad ever? No, no, telling the joke. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Legit concern. What is the concern that your daughter will hear it one day? I, I don't know. It's just it's like a, disrespectful, maybe. Yeah, it's and it's just like no. I'm saying if I'm the worst dad ever, I don't. Right. I don't think I'm the worst dad ever. I'm I think not... you're, you're creating a scenario that is not going to happen for the sake of a laugh. So I yes. think, you know, yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah. Stupid. Me. Oh, sorry. Keep going. Oh, no, I'm fine. Stupid dwarf question. <laughs> I'm ignorant. Okay. Fire away, buddy. Do you think the dollar goes further with a dwarf? <laughs> I don't but go, you don't have answers. to get first class. Yeah, okay. the house can be smaller. Yeah, eat less. Eat less. Eat less. You don't have to pay full price for a full body massage. Yeah, <laughs> movie tickets. <laughs> Drink less. Drink yeah. less. Yes. Sh- uh, Jordans are half price. Is that true? Yeah. Well, what? okay. I think I think this is not so stupid. <laughs> I think I got something here. Because you get you get little Jordans. Yeah. They're, yeah. I I got oh, size four foot. Well, that's fucking adorable. Yeah. Little Jordans. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So. That part's By the good. way, that sounds like a Disney movie. Little Jordans, yeah. It little does. Jordans. Like little basketball yeah. players. Yeah, yeah. Mike gets mad that LeBron made Space Jam. So he's like, I'm going to make another movie. <laughs> yeah, little Jordans. Right, right. It's about my kids, the one that's not fucking Larsa Pippen. <laughs> oh, that's God. some crazy shit. That's an incredible You know what story. bugs me, too, is that they, they do this story that is, if those of you don't know, uh, Marcus Jordan, Michael's son, is mm. getting married to Larsa Pippen, Scotty Pippen's ex wife. It's Nuts. a fucking mess. They won't be near each other at this point it's pretty ugly yeah but i, I mean, don't like that they the, dr- yeah the joke i kept seeing on twitter which is a good joke is just like oh man jordan pippen get another ring yeah yeah, yeah good one but uh <laughs> you know the thing is not bad. yeah <laughs> the thing is uh the, the the story that broke is larsa pippen and uh and him they claim they fuck five times a night which it's like such an annoying story it's like that's no just, you don't no Come on. that's rings. such an exaggeration where yeah. it's like it's like you you shot too far. Like if it, if you if said you three said, or four, yeah, maybe, even yeah, four, oh, maybe we five. Twice a night. It's like come on, five taking it to the hole. <laughs> but yeah, like, by the fifth come, nothing's coming out. No, you're getting no. you're getting There's dust. Be a break in the middle. You got a pound of liquid IV. <laughs> like, <laughs> dump Gatorade on your head. Yeah, <laughs> some stuff's got to happen. Like yeah, some prep work has to be done. Five right. times in a night. Hey, right. I think they may have. Maybe they did it once. And then every other time is way lower, and they're like, "That's it's five. That's yeah, but that was the one day they were on vacation, and they spent the whole day in the hotel room. You could do five times in a, a day then. You yeah. Know, in the hotel room all day. You get, you yeah, well, you don't have a service. job either, you. You can fuck a lot. <laughs> True. <laughs> Wait, is he a, he's a basketball player as well? No. He, oh, like, oh, he's he not. tried, but then oh. no. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I, I. It's got to be. And look, in his defense, it's got to be hard when your dad is Michael Jordan. Yeah. yeah. The greatest of all time. And now, uh, uh, I went to USC, and USC has Bronny James on the on on their basketball team. Oh, but that's he, I fun. think like even his yeah. ceiling is like what like second round NBA pick or like late first round. So mm-hmm. it's like tough that like that's incredible to make the NBA. But your dad's you, fucking LeBron. Yeah. Can you imagine if there's a team out there? Because LeBron has said that he wants to play at least one year with his son. Yeah, so the teams will draft yeah. the kid just to – Because LeBron get, will sign with that team. Just to get old LeBron to be like – like If there's a franchise out there that's like needs some ticket sales, Detroit Pistons. <laughs> <laughs> you, dra- you, you draft Bronny. LeBron signs as a free agent. You get one year of 41-year-old LeBron James, but season ticket sales He's probably still up. decent. Right. I mean, he's – Doing okay this year. He, like he's not winning per se, but it ter- in, in terms of how he's playing, it's yeah. still yeah. like he's the oldest player in the league. And like, oh wow, uh, Udonis Haslam, he was the oldest player in the league last year. He wasn't doing anything. So yeah. LeBron's like, he's still doing well. He can still get you. He's some still points. super talented. Yeah, he's still like a top 
ten. He's player? insanely rich, insanely talented. He's put all his money into his body, like like mm. millions of dollars every year. He sleeps in those crazy chambers and shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. He, he he's like the male version of a female porn star. All the money goes to the body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just shows up with sweet tits. We're like, hey, what? What the hell happened? All the money just maintained, <laughs> maintained. Right, right. Hold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That 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 I could see him like like holding on just because yeah he, he wants to play one year with his kid yeah that's one thing Jordan I bet he never does did. that's pretty cool but it's weird to build this life in L A and then your kid could just like get drafted by Orlando or something <laughs> and you're just like I don't yeah. Orlando it'd be funny if he got drafted by Orlando and then Bronny's like so are are you finally gonna take me to Disneyland <laughs> <laughs> finally, <laughs> we're in the city we're in the city Dad we have some days off he's like no nah, we got to practice worst flight. In America, is Ooh. to or out of Orlando? Really, out, out, out of Orlando is yeah. It, uh, it's all geriatrics and crying oh, kids. Oh right, you're gonna and be tourists. pretty fucking pro-choice on that flight. Yeah, for sure. and tourists that are like <laughs> yeah. they travel once a year, so they, yes. don't know, they don't know airport etiquette. Yeah. That's kind of a, a, a gripe. Is like we travel all the time. We know how to. Yeah, it's we, true. we know how to navigate an airport. There's there's. Like people go to the wrong terminals. They're like, "Can we check nine bags?" You're like, "No." Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like they get mad when they're like, "You have to consolidate." There's only one carry on. They don't know what they're doing. They're yeah. walking down the aisle of the airplane like, one, <laughs> two, three. You're like, come on, it says nine B. That's it. It's easy. It's it's why are you confused by why this? Why are you stopping at first class? Yeah, exactly. Your ticket says twenty seven. Yes, you're, you're, you're not gonna be there. Keep it moving. <laughs> well, let's uh plug plug some dates. Watch Brad's special. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right Veeps. now, veeps.com slash Brad Williams or, you know, go to veeps.com and yeah. type in Brad. Very funny guy. We love Brad. Yeah. Uh, when's this coming out? Uh, do, we, do, do we know? Two anyway, weeks. Yeah. Go, go, go to bradwilliamscomedy.com. We've got Tempe Improv. Uh, Great club. February 1st through the 3rd. Oh, Tucson, Air, Tucson, Arizona. Sunday, February 4th. Two shows. Fox Tucson Theater. Uh, the Theater at the Ace Hotel in oh, that's Los a great Angeles, room. Great Fe- room. February 10th. That's a big one. We added a second show at the Majestic Theater in Dallas. That's February a great 17th. one. Beautiful great, theater. Great theater. So, yeah. Oh, and then uh, Vegas, playing the Mirage. Nice. Uh, great time, man. February That 24th. Italian restaurant in the Mirage yeah. is fucking incredible. Yeah. There you go. Man, that was like- Make you do the fingers? We, we did it, yeah. <laughs> it's not the only fingers I did that weekend. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Watch out for the marinara. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm all over the road. I don't know where where we are. You're but doing uh, the beacon. Doing the beacon. Two at the beacon, baby. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I love, I love seeing it. that. Oh, thank I just went and saw John Oliver there. Killed. Yeah. I'd never seen him do like a full hour. It was fucking. Yeah, he's great. He's a pro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. We're at uh, Houston, San Antonio, Charlotte, Lexington, Boise, Salt Lake City, Atlanta, Raleigh, Austin, Tucson, Phoenix, Charlottesville, yes. Charleston, El Paso, Albuquerque, Memphis, uh, MarkNormanComedy.com for dates. We're doing some hot cities. Come on by. What all do you got theaters. there, Bigger? When is this coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. 28th mm-hmm. so we got uh, Omaha Funny Bone Dallas the following weekend then we got February uh, 15th through 17th OKC the following weekend Irvine uh, Improv then Salt Lake City God, I love at that Wise Guys I love that club yeah. oh I love Keith so I can't wait and then mm-hmm. we got uh, Fort the Wilbur for the at special at the Wilbur yeah baby yeah, yeah. so that's uh, March what 7th and 8th what a great be comedy seen. venue and to film your special there that's gonna come out I'm very five, excited I, I love I love Boston as a comedy city too so I'm yeah. pumped it's just a good fucking it's a good, good vibe. vibe they don't get offended by anything no they, and they, they they want you to go I asked they my really agent for it. something uh, warm and they got me Boston in March so I'm looking forward to it uh <laughs> no i'm pumped i'm excited it's gonna be great drink bodega cat whiskey yes. get at bodega cat whiskey.com it's good make uh, make a gold rush make out a of gold it. rush it's hell delightful. yeah all right well thank you very much for listening we love you salamanca peters we even love you pam we're sorry we bust your balls low shacked sorry about the uh no, we're the beef <laughs> All right. Whoa. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, well, you guys let, soon. Let me Sorry I repeated a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry I repeated a joke. We we did a bunch uh, last it's a week. a drinking podcast. And I'm working on a yeah. special, so the new stuff's not coming as quickly. It'll come soon. If you don't know, now you know, big uh. Sunday's the day for my next bender. A bit of fever wreck, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon, and Norman's talking shit about the fucking punk. And I...